this name kept coming up. Who is this guy that I keep hearing about? He wasn't there, but he was right there. The record business, Hollywood, civil rights, anything that had to do with the rights of people. That told you everything you needed to know about him. He was fearless, man. Absolutely fearless. We needed to know him because he was the gatekeeper. He knew everyone. Everybody. Oh, man, he was too fly. One to help another. He became a powerhouse. There's the power that needs the spotlight, but there's also the power behind the scenes. The guys are rock in every way. Agent, manager, orchestrator. This mysterious figure everybody respected. You only find one of those people. I'm like, how was the guy doing it? Sometimes I say to myself, how in the f*** did I get involved in all this? Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. You already know what it is, man. This is uh, Everybody Loves BBW. Happy hour to all this beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Uh, the gang not here, so I'm just going to hold it down. Hey. Shout out to uh, Angry Principal and my man Bo Dog. Uh, I'm going to hold it down for the gang. Uh, so we got a return guest. You already checking us out. We was already running our miles, but uh, you see who's in the building, dog. But I'm going to give you a little backstory. You just told me the date. It was yeah. November 7th, yeah. uh, 2020, right? 2020. No, so I, I got to say this. First of all, this whole thing started, if you... Uh, what's we on here? We start having a conversation about changing these bottles. All right, yeah. this is how this even started. Like uh, Sadat was here. I don't never call him Sadat, but uh, but because we not using another name, that's we, right. <laughs> we go we go call him that. Um, he was actually over here for a whole another interview. Yeah. He saw all the bottles and asked me about. It. I was like, yeah, we do a bourbon review uh, podcast. He was like, dog, I got somebody you need to meet. Had never heard of you. Had never heard of Black Spears. <laughs> didn't even know black people made whiskey. Like yeah. I, I was clueless, dog. Yeah. So you came down here and gave us the game, dog, and it's just been on popping ever since. Yeah. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, because you're looking right at him, you gotta know I'm talking about Lazar Favors is in the building today, man. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though, man? Yeah, and let me elaborate a little bit on that. Mm -hmm. We hadn't even started Taste of Black Spirits that at that point. We didn't start Taste oh, of Black Spirits right. in 2021. You're right. But I came down here with the most popular whiskey in American back on whiskey in American <laughs> history. Sure. Then I came back with Duke and Dane, right? Yeah, so I think no we doubt. came. We came at the same time with Duke and Dame because we got Duke. Nope, we hadn't even had Duke and Dame. Didn't yet. had that yet. Nope. We had Duke and Dame in December 2020. Yeah, that was so after it was the first one. So we, yeah. you started this journey with us, really. No, nah, for sure. Yeah. And I, I know we got some stuff we want to talk about, but for people who, yeah. who not really hip though, like tell them a little bit about how you even started with the whole Taste of Black Spirit. Man, man. I, first of all, shout out to shout out to Sadat. Right. Mm -hmm. Those who don't know who should, Sadat is, I call him Sadat, which which is a, a term for gentleman. Mm -hmm. Most of y'all know him as. Deshaun Cooper, you know that that guy with the beard, with the with all the you know guy with the beard the, with the packages w with the king packs. with the king packs. <laughs> Shout out you to know, king. king packs to dot. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Like all that good stuff. For but sure. uh, so we, you know, uh, I literally met him during the time that I started with. I'm just I'll I'll go ahead and say Uncle Nerys, right? Because okay. people because people need some. So, you know, they need to understand how that came about. Right? I, got you. I won't elaborate how it came about, but I would mm -hmm. just say that's how it started. Okay. You know, the fastest growing whiskey in American history. So we started there. Um, and that was my first time in the liquor industry, period. Really? Yeah, period. Right? Oh, okay. Never, never. You seem I, like you've been there for years. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> never, never anything before. Mm -hmm. Never um, thought about it even before. Again, that's, that's okay. also due to my brother, Rudy, who introduced me to it. Okay. Right. You know, he was watching and he saw, hey, yo, I want you to do this. I'm yeah. like, and because he know me, he like, I know he going to study that because yeah. I'm that's what I do. <laughs> I'm going to go study, go hard and figure it out. For sure. And we started with that. And we took that brand and we and both of y'all some studiers, yeah. So I, I yeah. understand how this happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that don't and I didn't even know that, but I know Bro, yes. I, he bringing information in, uh -huh. he's shooting me DMs. This, I wouldn't even I wasn't even interested in, you know, DMs. What is it? The yeah. direct messages. Yeah, direct messages. Yeah. But because of the song, uh, oh. I'm like, <laughs> Go don't down nobody DM. DM me. Like, <laughs> right. I don't do business in the DM. Don't do that. Yeah, right? You got to these But he was though. shipping me everything. He was yeah. shooting stuff he'll find out. And we would just, like, we'll go figure it out. And if it's something that we're interested in, we'll go, you know, we'll go create it or do yeah. something with it. But um, when we started, it was, like I said, we started with that brand. Mm -hmm. Then we picked up Duke and Dane. For sure. Um, saw the caramel whiskey. Mm -hmm. And then we, um, I had a, um, I was um, at like a lounge in the Fisher building where he, he was at too. Okay. 
And we just kind of created some awareness of what we had at the time. Gotcha. And then within that that time period, so things were happening really, really fast. In right. that time period, um, I looked at the bar that we had and I was like, yo, it's gotta be it's gotta be more than this. Yeah. It can't just be this. Right, right. And we again we start that journey, right? Yeah. We start that journey, then following year, um, we start gathering details. Start mm. finding out brands. Really, really, you can find <laughs> black owned brands just by Googling yeah. black owned brands. <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I mean? Simple like, enough, right? You know, yeah. Simple <laughs> enough, right? You know, then you come across some things, some brands that existed prior to Uncle Nearest, mm -hmm. prior to before you even heard of Diddy. Right. Right. We talking uh, Vanessa Braxton. We mm. talking um, uh, Jackie Summer. Mm hmm. Uh, Ken, I can't Ken, I can't remember Ken's last name, but he started. He was the, one of the first with a, really? a vodka. Oh, okay. Forty Four North. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Out, literally out of Idaho. Didn't know it. Idaho potato vodka. Hold on, wait. A minute. Huckleberry. So, so, so there's a black vodka. owned. Yes, sir. Vodka in yeah, Idaho. Yes, sir. In Idaho. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Idaho. Shout out Idaho. <laughs> right. That's crazy. So. So we accumulated all this knowledge collectively. Me and him, he, he, because now he in the zone. Yeah. You know, he going, right. He shoot it to me. I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah, all right. Do I need to act on this? What we doing? Right. right. What we doing? Yeah. So as we gathered all that information, as we were um, elevating the experience of black owned uh, spirit brands, we, mm -hmm. we decided and I, uh, I gathered some details and got us some intel. And I said, yeah, we're going to do this event called Taste of Black Spirits. Yeah. That was 2021 April. Gotcha. April okay. 2021. We did it in May. Okay. I only gave us 30 days. Right. Like, and I, now this first one was in Grand Rapids, right? Is nah, that the, the, nah. The first one was in Detroit, what? downtown at the restaurant. And really? it was two days. You missed out. I missed out. You yeah, was, I, I think you was in Tennessee. Ain't no telling. Yeah. I, I know yeah, you were in Tennessee. I know bit. you was. Okay. Because I actually was like, oh, I'm going to be in Tennessee for this bourbon <laughs> thing. Right? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm so, over around. <laughs> so, uh, ironically, that's the same time that... um our fav one of our favorite podcasters had started. Okay. You know, that's Robin and Mike inside. They had started that right. same week. Gotcha. Right. Um, but long story short, we I did the research. Mm -hmm. My part is to go find the people, had a conversation, either fly yeah. out there, talk to them, Zoom, et cetera. I did all of that. I did mm -hmm. so many Zooms and so many um interactions with those folks that exist. I was actually enjoying it. Like, wow, I'm actually talking to somebody black. Mm-hmm that actually owns this product or actually makes it. Yeah, some of them like, actually like make it. That's a hell of a benefit to know yeah, that. I'm like, I'm having these conversations? That's crazy. Right. So I, I'm super excited about it. Mm. So I was just like, yo, we gonna do this event. We listen. We had no idea. Right, we like, just gonna do we're it. We just gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> we just want people to know it right. exists. Yeah. But within that, within that whole thing, every, as, you, as you know, mm. you manifest something, the pieces just start showing up no nah, for sure we had like six brands come out mm -hmm. you know from out of, out of town we had like 38 brands on the on the uh for sampling gotcha. and the city of detroit was like what is this exactly yeah. and they were excited yeah because um, something different yeah it was completely different yeah. so we that's where we started so we started with that and then we yeah. started thinking about everything else right <laughs> so right? everything else <laughs> Right, so I I did want to. All right, we ain't gonna stay too long on that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Did you know? Did you know that it was this many black owned? I had no idea. I'll say. I'll tell you how I found. What I found was mm -hmm. sixty. Okay. And I found it at a. Uh, <laughs> I found it on a uh, website called Will Drink for Travel. <laughs> Will Compl drink for travel. Yeah, that's that's what her name yeah. is. Uh, her name is oh Ashley. I think it's Ashley. Excuse okay. me if I'm wrong, but she had them listed yeah. in alphabetical order. Yeah. Okay. Brand, owner, mm -hmm. email address. Wow. You never get access to information like that. Do you hear me? I you never like, get access to information said, like that, well, bro. I'll be damn. Right. <laughs> Why thank you? Why thank you? And I <laughs> right. and I literally make sure I mention her every time I talk because she That's is she is the reason, right? That For I sure. I found that list. Yeah. And then it prompted me to try to order all of them. Right. For sure. You know. And and I think the the cool thing about that too though is that not only was that curated for you, but it's just the fact that if she went through that amount of work to find that information, then we know that people want that information. That's right. See, sometimes like you, you compile some stuff, but like you don't know if somebody really wants it. Yeah. But I think people are often looking for things like that. So this is a great benefit for, for you guys. For yeah, sure. we're, we're, we're always looking to be educated. Mm -hmm. 
always right we're looking to learn something every single day right so in learning that and learning that we existed on that scale right mm -hmm. and still in my mind i'm like okay that's 60 okay it's got to be more too exactly right? it's more for it's sure more and so i go i'm still googling i don't stop <laughs> right because i'm trying now i'm trying to order it most of those brands don't ship to michigan in fact 95 percent of those brands didn't ship to michigan michigan is a problem when when michigan is in. a controlled state yes, they like man. oh they they're like your worst cousin man <laughs> no, I, I say real. cousin because my brother and sister they ain't got no choice yeah. but your cousin's <laughs> like you can't come over here well, what do you mean i can't we cousins what right. do you mean <laughs> this that's, is you work at the show and i can't come in like, that's what definitely kind of michigan is that? Yeah. yeah i don't know what's that about so nah, i found sure. a place called happy cork mm -hmm. in brooklyn for sure shout out to happy cork they had just got their license to ship out of state okay and they were able to ship to michigan got you and okay. i order everything they had got you to the point I was ordering so much liquor from them. So that I will start, we'll stay at the 2021 when our first one I ordered probably, I don't know, maybe $4,000 worth of liquor from them. Okay. Directly shipped, right? Um, and then you we- You from the place in From Happy Court. From Happy okay. Court. Okay. And again, they had just got their license to be able to ship, mm -hmm. like not even a month before I started, right? So just you mentioning that, though, just sparked a, a bug in my ear because I was just thinking like, so you you've been knowing them for a while. So yeah. like the happy court situation wasn't a new situation, nah, even nah. though it looked like a it new situation like, yeah. to us. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I follow so, up with you. Yeah. So I uh, so when I um and I had never met her, okay. Sunshine Foss and her and her husband. Okay. I never met her. Met them, and they told me uh, I'm moving a little bit forward. I'll move back. But okay. They told me they was like when they met me, finally met me mm -hmm. in 2023 in Brooklyn. Right. She was on my panel exactly. in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. She was like, they thought that it was fraud. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because they was like, who's ordering this much liquor? Hey, look, they and thought why? it was fraud, but they, they kept selling it. Case it is, a case it is. Okay, <laughs> they, they kept selling it because right? <laughs> they know they was. You know, I think they was intentionally waiting till the the money came. Like, what well, the money clear? Because so, um, it would take them good. two weeks to send me money. I'm good with that, though. Yeah, no, so, sure. um, literally, so May was our very first Taste of Black Spirits, 2021. Right. Two days. The day, it was hot. It's flames out. It was 100 <laughs> degrees. Right. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you. And, and, the, and the air was out in the restaurant. <sighs> but everybody still showed up. And yeah. it, was a, it was a phenomenal thing. We got a great, some great press around it. Mm -hmm. um, and then we did it again in September. Right. Then we did it again in November, which was in uh, uh, Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids. Okay, I got so, you. Okay. So we, the first year, the, basically the out the gate, we did it three times. Got you. Okay. Right? And it was, uh, and it was very, very well received. It grew faster than we could even imagine because yeah. we only could do it once at the restaurant. Right. Right? Because we had, outgrew it that same. I was going to say, it's too many. That, yeah. By the weekend, it was done. It was over. Right. <laughs> can't do this <laughs> can't here do again, right? Here, right? <laughs> So, but yeah, man, that's that's the beginning of of what we've uh, what we've done. Um, well, we're I'll say this: that's mm -hmm. the beginning, and we just closed out our tenth um, edition in Brooklyn mm -hmm. for the second time. Yeah, so I, yeah, just got back from that yeah, one. Just yeah, got for back sure. From that one, and then yeah. the next one will be back here again. Yeah, Detroit. We we'll yeah. talk about that on the end. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Definitely yeah. got to get into that. <laughs> All right, so real quick though, before we move to what we're talking about, first, yeah. just give a shout out to your team. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Shout out to first of all my wife, uh, who's 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 dope is dope. I can cuss on her. Yeah. You, on, you know, some people are like, you can't on, cuss, Mister Favors. You know what I <laughs> nah. mean? Like, like I cuss a lot. Right. <laughs> you understand? This is, this is a BBW. Show, right. Man. Right. We're right. Talk I shit you, I yeah. Be, yeah. Y'all yeah. be going in. Yeah. yeah for sure. For but sure. the wife, you know, I, I salute to her. She decided. Um, Shout out, she on there right now. She yeah. said, "Let's go." Yeah, she decided <laughs> to really like jump in and really bring her expertise to the to the fold. Right? Okay. She's an expert speaker. She's dope as shit. Like mm -hmm. that's my that's my jigger man. Right? No, really? For sure. And she she brings this knowledge of of not just compliance, but you know she works in a racial space. Right. right. She's been doing that for twenty years, so I can take that information. She's able to bring what she knows into this into this fold yeah. and really be very activated in it. Right. For sure. Shout out to Sadat, number one. You know that. No day doubt. One, no doubt. Day one guy. Right. Because if it weren't for him, I wouldn't know you. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Like he, oh, he's that guy in the streets. Like he mm -hmm. is the guy who's connecting people. He's the guy on his. If you go to his page, to say the guy you need to know. That is a fact. That's a fact. It's not a game. <laughs> I agree. Like, I agree. This guy be everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> like where you everywhere. at, man? <laughs> 
<laughs> like, I'll see real. a post. Yeah, I'm such as okay. Do your thing. Yeah, right. like oh, you, you know, dog, right with the beard. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With the glasses, yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> with the hat, right. right with with the all hat. the shoes, like yeah, that guy, sire shoes. Like what is the, where you getting these from, man? Right. Everything, he, everything he buy two hundred dollars or over. Everything yeah. he buy, right. Yeah. But he is. A, he love he, what he love. He love what he love. <laughs> he is very loyal, one hundred percent. Um. Just don't send him to the grocery store. That's the only thing you can't do. That, yeah. is send him to the grocery store. But everything else, he's gonna be on time. He's gonna yeah. be there. He's gonna be there before you, et cetera, et cetera. For sure. Uh shout out to so we got a new partner that we brought in. So this partner, the liquor liquor guy Dwayne is is his handle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Right. Oh shit. So, I didn't know yeah, that. Okay. Yeah. Shout so, out to my so, guy. Yeah, so D so we've been knowing him since pretty much when we started uh, mm -hmm. Uncle Nearest. With okay. with Uncle Nearest. He used to work with I always like to say with I never like to say for mm -hmm. with R and D C. Gotcha. Right. Okay. When I before I even had it, like he was one of the reasons mm -hmm. Uncle Nears got into the market. He was mm -hmm. one of those guys, right? Oh, okay. Um Shout out to he me, also man. he also worked very closely with Bacardi and Duce. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm only mentioning those folks because so y'all can understand the caliber of person he is. Right, right? facts. Yeah. And he's an award winning, like literally I didn't even know that existed. Mm -hmm. But it does. Yeah. Award winning salesperson. Oh yeah. Right? Okay. So, so he was that. definitely necessary okay. for our growth and what we're doing. Yeah. Um shout out to Robert Mike and Ty. You know what I'm saying? Get Fact. the band back. Like listen, y'all still play guitar, <laughs> yes. piano and mic. Come on now. Y'all still band back. get the band back. It's necessary. We got shit to yes, do. Yes, even you oldest. So everybody didn't come, come on, to see every oldest. They're <laughs> they coming out. They're coming now. You know, uh it, it's, it's important. I mean, my little sister, the Laura Green, she's a fashion individual. She she she's that content person, so she's yeah. in that fold. Mm -hmm. um, oh, oh, Ursula Dunn, Ursula mm -hmm. Nicole Reeves, Nicole uh, out of um, what's Nicole Nicole Young. All these folks are in our fold. Right. They co they contribute in one way or another, right? My right. whole the whole folks out of. Because most of my team didn't even come to New York last time. Right. But yeah, I, had so I, heard, I had a yeah. team there. Right. right. I didn't even know I had a team there. Yeah. You know, shout out to Reggie. Shout out to Anthony. Those sure. cats so showed you, up. They, they took put the gloves on. on. They yeah. took me on that end, right? So, so when I realized that the type, the people see what I see, mm -hmm. you know, and they contribute to it and they like, yo, we got you. We understand. It takes all of us to make this happen. Right? So, no, for sure. So that was great for me. You no, know that's what's up, though. All right, so so let's and talk shout about out to that. LT and everybody else too, man. LT, Q, oh, for sure. yeah. them, you know. shout out to LT. Always serving them drinks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so speaking of that, you're talking about collaborations and stuff like yeah. that. So I, I know there's a term you've been using. All right, so we just want to get into that, right? So collective, right? Collective Collect behavior. Yeah, man. So yeah. just kind of tell people what that means. Yeah, it, we kind of <clears throat> dabbling in it right now. So. When you when you think about what is that? Well, okay. What does collective behavior mean? Mm -hmm. Meaning, Ursula does say we definitely got you. <laughs> <for sure>. <laughs> <laughs> so, so look at look at it from look at it from a tribe perspective, right? Okay. When you think about um, Africa and you think about the certain tribes, when you think about Wakanda, mm -hmm. collectively they move. Right. Collectively they make shit happen. Get mm -hmm. it done. No matter. I can I can be the person in the lab. Or I can be Black Panther out in the field. Out in the field, right. Yeah. Or I can be the other person down here or the per person driving. Collectively, that one thing that we're trying to make happen gets done. Mm -hmm. We have to think in terms of that because that's how it gets done. We can't say, well, I need help. We need help from here. It's, it's got to be an automatic. Yeah. And, I, and I'll go into it even. I'll unpack it. Mm -hmm. Think about our Korean brothers and sisters. Our Jewish brothers and sisters, our Chaldean, mm. it's an unconscious behavior for them. They ain't got to think about. At least it seems like it is. Yeah. Oh, but it is. Yeah. They ain't got to think about themselves first. Right. It's going to happen. They don't yeah. even have to discuss it. It's going to <laughs> it's be. Just, it's what it is. Right. If I open this grocery store, ninety-five percent of the people in my grocery store are going to be me. Mm -hmm. They're going to look like me. Right. And eighty-five percent of the stuff sold in this store, if you can't read, if you can't read Arabic, you probably won't be able to read it right. because it's for my people yeah. first i'm not saying i don't do business with other groups right, right but those groups do business with themselves first unconsciously mm. we have to understand we got to take it back and think about all the things that we built right that were great things yeah self-sustaining self-sustaining it was yeah. collective mm -hmm. the behavior was we're gonna do this and that's it yeah right we're gonna build this and that's what we're gonna do hey q 
you sell you sell you have a grocery store mm -hmm. i have a car lot right okay. so dot got insurance company okay mike time robin run the tv station magazine right it just circulate right hey i got cars on sale i need to put it in the magazine right i need you to share with the community right Hey, you got what's 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 the, what's on sale this day at the grocery store? Right. Good. I'm gonna send my Jitney boys in these cars <laughs> in to these come cars. pick it up for <laughs> right. the churches. Uh huh. You understand what I'm saying? Like yeah. the be the way we think about us has to be take care of us. Right. Like everybody thought has to be like we have to take care of us. Nobody's gone. Nobody's coming to save us. Man, that's the truth. Nobody. <laughs> nobody's coming truth. to share their riches, their family wealth. Mm -hmm with us right we create it we've done it way too many times in fact right we have it mm -hmm. already it's about letting each other know what we have and what we can share right it's True. about understanding that i don't need to know you my whole life to do business with you right you look like me mm -hmm. that's that's the proof of business for me already like oh <laughs> so that's you look like me one. okay that's step one right <laughs> right now we're on the same now page, the same page. <laughs> oh step two well you have a service what do you have really? a product oh service and product okay that's we, we got an understanding what that is right. okay where the money at okay we got 25 black owned banks mm -hmm. we got the biggest the largest black owned bank in new york they got about uh, maybe a little over eight eight billion dollars available yeah right mm -hmm. we got first independence here right who opened up a, i think in missouri celebrating their third year mm. first of independence been here 50 years right yeah been here for sure i, I know was that was one two thing. years old right. you know what i mean <laughs> like, like right. well we got banks yeah. yeah we got we got we got venture capital mm -hmm. we got people who who create things like my uh, a good friend of mine now um created the what's that the super soaker yeah, yeah, yeah. About doing big, huge things right, right now. Yeah, he did. He, he sold the patent or something. Like, didn't he? No, nah, no. Nah, they they try to they, they try, try to, to stick him it. up. Oh, okay. Tore their ass up for yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They they regret that for right. sure. <laughs> That's a regret for sure, man. Can't <laughs> but have nothing. So I say I say that to say like, we have it. We have the talent mm -hmm. as always. When people, I've heard someone say, my my wife shared this with me. Someone said, "Well, black people don't have money." Not true. Yeah, we got plenty of it. All right, we just we don't always spend it. We don't the way spend we it should. correctly. Yeah, right. <laughs> You'll know how much money we got if it's circulating amongst us. Mm -hmm. You can't. You don't never know how much we get if it gets Steady going out, goes out in two minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like what that's at, right? right? So, so that that way of thinking, that understanding of ourselves, we've been we've been brainwashed so much. I mean, we've been we've been taken through so much. But think mm -hmm. about we still standing. Right. We still strong enough to create things unconsciously. Mm -hmm. The Schwins and all that, the, the lights they put on bikes that they sell for seven seven thousand dollars now. Damn. We do that in the garage. Oh, seven thousand? Yes. Seven thousand, <laughs> fourteen thousand. Wow. Because we in the wrong business. <laughs> come on, man. Listen, we we doing it for twenty dollars, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Twenty five. Twenty five. Trying to get over. Right? We taking Christmas light, <laughs> attaching the Christmas light to a battery. Yeah. And the lights worker. Mm -hmm. Wrapping that boy up with that real duct tape from in, from back in the seventies. <laughs> right. <laughs> they right. really lock you up. Right. right. The great right. one. <laughs> Putting that boy on there, and your lights is running on your on your on your light on your bike. Right. Yeah. So this is the talent we have. We have the talent. Mm -hmm. We have the money. We have the know-how, right? Mm -hmm. We have to have. We also have the people. Yeah. We have to connect with the right people. If you're trying to be in media, you can't. You can't work at the plant. I'm just gonna keep it a hundred. Not yeah. saying that's that's a bad thing. That's no, not what I'm but saying. I hear you. I hear but you. If, whatever it is you seek to do, mm -hmm. you find the people to do it with. Right. Every tribe may is going to be different, mm -hmm. but if that's your tribe, you and you and this thing. Right. I've seen. I've seen you. With your tribe twice. Oh yeah, for sure. Using with your tribe in Philly. Uh huh. Using with your tribe in Atlanta. In Baltimore. Baltimore. Uh huh. Yeah. And your tribe is this podcast doing. And for sure. When you get down there and you excited, you on yeah. your thing. You got your east side. It's my thing. Part yeah. of my east side. <laughs> and sure. because you're in that environment, mm -hmm. you do even better. I agree. Because the energy provides it. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Definitely agree. So you do got to be in a you got to be in the right circle. You got to be in the right circle. Got to be in the right circle. That means you got to make some. Sometimes you got to make tough decisions you on do. the people who are in those all circles. the time. You yeah, make some, a lot yeah, of time. time. And I know that's the truth for uh, any kind of partnerships. And uh, I, let's 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 stay with that yeah. with the whole partnership thing. So when you talk about collective behavior, so I mean that's 
obviously including all the things that you talked about when you're doing or pursuing a partnership like how do you like how do you even go about that do people normally just reach out to you or like how do they even work like i'm just curious i'll say i'll say you got me laughing over (laughs) i i i'm in the news all i'm always looking yeah everything for me is energy right sure every partnership i've had has been off of energy Mm -hmm. um when it has to align though right yeah, so yeah. i'm not the person that you're gonna keep going back and forth via email i need to see your face <laughs> right i gotta see i gotta see your face yeah right? not for sure i gotta have a genuine conversation outside mm-hmm. of whatever it is we want to talk about right all i need to know is your energy like what's your energy like okay mm-hmm. what are you ta- what are we talking about what are you describing i don't need to know that you went to harvard and you got <laughs> 50 M- I don't right need that. don't leave with your credentials don't yeah. leave with that i got you leave with your character yeah. Lee would, would just let me fill you out because that's what you're doing with me. Right. I don't exaggerate. Mm-hmm. I don't talk a whole lot about me because if you if you if you seeing what we're doing, we're we're doing it right. Yeah. I don't need to. I don't need to give you credentials. I need to know what it. What? Why are we here? Right. And that's what everybody like. Why are we here? Yeah. Not for we, sure. What do we want to do? Right. Because yeah. this is what we're the train. I'm on a locomotive. Mm-hmm. Are you able to get on this locomotive? Right, because it's moving. I ain't stopping. It's moving. This ain't stopping to pick you up. You don't have to chase it down. You got to jump on. You got to jump on this joint. Because right. we only yeah. we, we only stopping for uh to oil up the wheels. Right. And that only that don't take long. Right. right? You know what I'm saying? So, I feel you. I feel but you. different partnerships. So, yeah. so I'll, I'll start with with um with I'll end with the spirits. But I'll start with like just folks who um again like with Sadat. So his 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 expertise is finding you know what may work with us mm-hmm. and he'll shoot it he'll do the research on it before he even shoot it to me yeah. and, and if he says he said let's look into that yeah all right go set it up because he's going to pitch all he's doing is pitching it over uh, he, he most definitely the gatekeeper he's gonna, he, he gonna pitch it over <laughs> he the gatekeeper right. i know Listen. when i have something i want to reach out to you about i'll be like mm, let me let me see what dog talking about i'm gonna <laughs> say to him first <laughs> Look, yeah. Yeah. never go directly yeah, no because because he really know how to chop it up and really get a get a vice we get a feel for it right not for sure and um so we'll, it'll go it's either you got to go that route mm-hmm. right and me and him instead of a meet with the person or he'll meet with him and he'll be like i mean sometimes he'll be like I said, what, what happened with that? He said, like, don't even worry about don't it. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> or Because if, if it's really something that he believes that we should do, mm-hmm. he'll run the whole thing to me gotcha. in the first conversation. Yeah. Because I mean, he'll cover it. That means he covered everything. Right. And he's just waiting on, well, well what you say? How you want to play it? Right, How you want to play it? Right. And I always contribute. I'm like, okay, that's this to play. Well, what about this? We cover this and this. And as long as those things are covered, we may, we may mess with you. Okay. Right. But me and him both had to learn. People want to partner with what they think is cool. True. And because True. we were just moving, we we started doing too. Like, oh wait, let's back up. Yeah. Let's back up. So we, we can't do much. everything. Yeah. <laughs> let's back up. Wait, slow down. Right. And just again, learning ourselves that way. Mm-hmm. But um when we partner with spaces, mm-hmm. um, it's just different. It depends on what the va- what the value is for our portfolio. Right. Where is that value at? Right. Sure. Because it ain't about me and Sadat. It ain't about the team. It's about who we're bringing to the stage. Right. right? We're just in, we're in the, we're in the background, mm-hmm. holding down the front, but we still like what we're what we what we have made ourselves responsible for mm-hmm. is making sure that you are aware that this exists on this level. Right. That these products are available to you on this level, um, and and you can get it right. Right. So that, so when we when restaurants or not necessarily stores, but events, mm-hmm. mostly events, it, we are very strategic. Right. With what that look like because we produce events, right? Okay. So we're still tr- strategic with that. Most folks want money, mm-hmm. right? And it depends, right? right? So that depends. Most most events, we don't do events that's only going to happen one time. Gotcha. We're not going to do it the very if it's your first year. We're just not going to do it. It don't gotcha. make sense for no side, right? Yeah. We may contribute product, right, mm-hmm. to help you along, and we may we may be there, right, right to right. bring some presents, right, mm-hmm. uh, and, and and share some of our uh, our true folks, our close knit 
folks that come out with us like you and then Shantae right. and all those guys come out with us to mm -hmm. hang with us on the regular right, right. We'll, we'll all come like that that's the way we can support you but partnerships are serious for us right like we we look to do things you look for longevity longevity yeah. and long term right whatever it is you bring to the table if it's on the table we can build it Nah, but if it's sure. in your pocket, ain't nothing we can do with it. Because <laughs> right. everything we do is on the table. Yeah. Right? So, I to tell you, we, we ain't got nothing to hide. Yeah. Like, this is what we got. Mm. If you can use that over there, pick it up and do something with it, and we'll fuel it. Yeah. But don't pick up something you can't do nothing with. <laughs> right. Because what's the what point? What's the point? Right? Waste everybody time. Waste everybody time. Yeah. And nah, then when sure. we partner with, with um, like, um, venues, mm -hmm. like where we are, and I will talk about it. Okay. Um, that's a whole conversation but that's 98 yeah. percent of my conversation gotcha so when we do the partnerships with even even funders or sponsorships right mm -hmm. that's my whole conversation yeah because it's just it's tedious and it it's, is and, it, and it's something that don't even want to partake in yeah he's like i don't need to be on that call <laughs> i'll tell him <laughs> like, like, nah, yeah. if i ain't got to be there i ain't got to be there right? exactly yeah. he told me one day he went to this where i sent him to this event mm -hmm. he tell, he's like yo this your type of event i don't yeah. need to be don't send me here no more right? hey, he trying to shake hands with his baby <laughs> that's right? it that's he's trying, he trying to do his thing yeah, right and sure. that's his thing and but it is no it's very effective mm-hmm I mean, it's truly effective because he's a memory for a lot of people. Yeah, he's no a memory. They like, yeah, hey, you me, your, your guy with the beard. yeah, with the beard, right? <laughs> with the glasses, you know. I <laughs> right. really like him. You know? <laughs> no, he, def he definitely be memorable for everybody. Yeah, so, yeah. for sure. No, nah, so that and works out. So, and then there's you know, then there's brand partnerships mm -hmm. um, that we again we are still a little tedious about that because you can't you can't partner with every brand, right? We assist every brand to a degree. Every mm -hmm. brand that comes across our table or that may come to the Taste of Black Spirit, mm -hmm. I'm always in consult mode. Right. I always have something for somebody. Yeah. But as far as taking them on, making them a part of the, the Black Spirit's legacy portfolio, mm -hmm. that just requires some different things. You know what for I'm sure. saying? Some brands we can take on brand new, mm -hmm. right? Some brands we can't because our time is is it's not about money it's about what's the value of what it is we're getting ready to do right and are you ready for that yeah right and sometimes if you're at the beginning like that you might not be prepared you, you might not be prepared, prepared and then that's, that. yeah you know it's what not saying? gonna go well for it's everybody not, it's not gonna go well for you because i can't because you can't contribute to your growth right that's that's the main thing if you yeah. you can't create something in this liquor space right or any other space for that matter you can't you can't create something and expect it to do trillions of dollars and you only invested <laughs> right. 50 bucks. <laughs> right, exactly. So These are just facts. That's no, anything. No, no, anything. That's, that's anything. Or, right. or even only invested two hours a day. Yeah. Something that requires 16 hours a day. You invest mm -hmm. two hours a day in something that requires 16? Right. It ain't going to yeah. work. Right. So you're not, you're not ready for it. You're not ready for that. Yeah. So it, those, are, those are some of the things that we... we we take our time with mm -hmm. when, we, when it comes to partnerships, but when it comes to uh, even concerts, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's just what it looks like. What we've been hit with a lot, and Sadat get it more than I do because he always out in the street. He outside. Yeah. He outside. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, they want me to do this for five thousand, and you can't say that to him because mm -hmm. that re he really go in. Yeah. He, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't even get no more to conversation. He, right. I got it. He got it. Shut him all the way down. Right. And that, you know, that's just. So what happens is when you when you black black brands, uh, people tend to ask more questions. Mm -hmm. Black that's people, true. black yeah, people though, yeah. ask more questions that they would never ask just to any other brand. You're right. You would never ask most most people who are not professional. I don't mean like connoisseurs like you. I don't mean like that. <laughs> I, know I mean just huh? shit, whiskey for sure. <laughs> I mean people that they come across whiskey and be like, yeah, hey, uh, what's the mash bill? Like what? Yeah. You never ask nobody that. Yeah. Would you just look that up? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Right, because you know, I'm, I'm going to ask. you going to yeah, ask, right? Ask, <laughs> you gonna ask, but you're going to halfway know yeah. like, oh, for taste. Uh -huh. But um, Right, I, at that point, I'm just asking yeah. to see if I'm right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, our partnerships, we, we kind of strategic with those. Uh, even even when folks want to sponsor. That's what I was going to say. So what about like people trying to invest in, in you? Like it's, you, you go with the same, kind of the same idea as the our, people who energy, partner with. right? Yeah. Because Cause all, all money ain't good money. All money ain't good yeah, money. And we got to know 
that you here for the long term. Mm -hmm. We can't partner with you if you hear like, hey, I want to make a hundred thousand and then off get of out this and get out. Like, nah, that ain't <laughs> how that work. Right. That ain't work. That yeah. don't work for none of us, right? Exactly. Now, stay, there are some people that would take that. Though. Yeah, yeah, stay for we, but I we we don't take everybody money. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's it's some banks that you know that came and was like, "Hey, we allowed to do this." I'm like, "Yeah, y'all just don't align with what we're doing." Right, and it's okay to say that. That's all. Like, you can't question that. <laughs> exactly, it's okay you know to say that. It's yours. That's so. what it is. And I, and to so some people, you know, some people may look at that. Oh, what, what do you mean by that? Right. Nobody ask. Let's but be clear. You can tell how they look. Well, you can tell how they look. Like, what does that mean? And <laughs> I'm hoping nobody had ever asked me. But if you do, I'm gonna be honest. Like, yeah. you know, this agenda is about black culture. Mm -hmm. This agenda is about securing my people's legacy. Yeah. Right. I'm nothing against anybody else's thing. Nobody right. questioned Jews why they fuck with Jews. Right. Nobody True. questioned Koreans why they fuck with Koreans. Facts. Right. Nobody <laughs> questioned that. But soon as black people come together and want to work together, why? Why? What's going on here? Right. What does that mean? We need to break this. We up. need to break this up. What is going on here? Y'all too close. Y'all right. hanging out too much. You it's understand? Too much positivity. Too here. much positivity here. Y'all <laughs> yeah, are because we know y'all are, are. Is this the takeover? Is this happening right. in front of me? I feel like that's how they feel though. Like, Call security. Right. These guys are about to take over. This is real. Listen, listen, right. man. I was there, I and I, rec I recognize this. I recognize our power so many different times, mm -hmm. but this one specifically. We were in Vegas. It was me, uh, my guy who owns Ricardo Amore, okay. Steve, and E40. Okay. And there's another young brother. So we're having like E40, E40, E40. Yeah. Just go drop that off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got you. Cool. <laughs> we're having a conversation, <laughs> like. And we're really talking about the state of the black spirits. We're gotcha. having this conversation because yeah, he, he, wasn't, into that, so. he wasn't really aware that we existed like yeah. this. He's like, what? Hey, real quick, before you go any further, though, shout yeah. out to E-40, man, but that fucking Kyber belt is trash. <laughs> oh, my God. Trash. <laughs> I'm sorry, E-40. I apologize. <laughs> we did a review on your shit. That shit is trash. I, I love the I, I love the wine. What is it? The whiskey? Or Kuiper the... Belt is a bourbon. Bourbon. Yeah, okay. I, I love the I love the wine. Uh -huh. uh, even back in the day, the slurry came. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. That's it. That's it on that. That Kuiper Belt is trash. All right, anyway, go ahead. So, <laughs> so and it's a camera circling us. Okay, and we're just having men to men talk. We're not there. Like it was, it was just a conversation we fell into. Gotcha. And everybody had commented on what we were in the conversation. But as we looked outside that circle, mm -hmm. it was another circle. Mm -hmm. All around y'all, looking at y'all. That didn't look like us. Mm -hmm. The whole, I'm like, literally, the whole yeah. circle was like, what are these black what's people going up to? On? <laughs> what is going on? And I right. mean that on everything I love. Like, they, yeah. in, their, in their energy, you can tell they're like, what's going on here? What is happening? Yeah. They're building, yeah. damn it. <laughs> right. What's happening? Break it up. Break that up. Somebody step in <laughs> right. and shut that down. Yo, that's wild though. But, but that's, true though. that's for sure. That's true. So, yeah. so because because I recognize that, mm -hmm. I, my goal is to stay one hundred percent true to us. Yeah. Right. No doubt. Even you know, I I love all people. It has nothing to do with that. It has right. nothing to do with me not including. This ain't about diversity and inclusion. This right. is about us specifically. Yeah. It's a specific task mm -hmm. for a specific reason. Right. Simple as that. That's it. Right. It's that simple. It's <laughs> that you. simple. It's the reason that I don't eat at certain places. It's the reason I, I choose to eat. When we go out of town, we go anywhere. I identify at least 15 black owned restaurants that I'm going to eat at while yeah. I'm there. Gotcha. Period. Yeah. It's an unconscious thing. My daughter and my grandson, I had them, hey, look up where we eating at before we get there. Right. Because it's yeah, as easy as that. It could be in the hood. I, yeah. I've done that. Yeah, right. Miami. Shout out to, this shout out to Miami. Listen, you push it out, shout out to Miami and shout out to Tubi because uh, yeah. I walked in with a Detroit Everyday shirt on at this one restaurant. It was all oh, Detroit killing it on Tubi. I'm like, oh, well, we saved, saved your it. life. Now saved we saved, life. right? Because <laughs> we got love here. Right? Yeah, for sure. But Detroit I, got love. Detroit places, got love. We got sure. love everywhere. Yeah, no but you know, that's that's the reason we have to focus on us. Wherever we spend our dollars, man. Like, mm -hmm. think about that's true though. I think I think about when I was. 19 probably younger 17 18 19 mm -hmm. gucci because somebody said it was cool facts they didn't have Louis to be because cool somebody said it was cool like yeah. i don't even like brown right you know <laughs> right. what i'm saying exactly. like that goofiness that yeah. goofy shit like oh i'm i'm gonna wear that because they said it's cool right don't you like this don't you like until you get out until once you get out of that behavior mm -hmm. once you learn like yo hold up let me let me look into me yeah let me check me out facts let me talk to me for a minute yeah and let me see what we can do 
together. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Let me go get my FUBU joint. Yeah. Shout Why out to FUBU. Shout out to FUBU. Yeah, they, they steadily expanding. Come on, man. Doing Them really boys are geniuses, man. Movies, all kinds of stuff Everything. Yeah. boys got a couple hundred million. Yeah. I love it. I got to call them. They need to come. Hey, shout out to FUBU. Y'all need to come shoot this live in I September. Know, right? They should. They Come really on, should. man. Come on. I understand y'all busy. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that. I understand that part. But it, this is a magnificent place to be, though. Yeah, man. Now, I know <laughs> you've been, because I saw this in the notes, and I, I, I <laughs> you already know where I'm going with this. Go ahead. Talk so to you me. done did Taste of Black Spirits all in Michigan, all in New York, all in Florida. Yeah. You trying to go abroad, bro? Listen. You listen. trying to go overseas with this listen, international thing? Listen. Listen, that what we're saying? That for sure. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> so we did, we started in Detroit. Yep. Tapped into Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Did Miami. Miami. Crazy. I hate I miss Miami. Did though. Miami, yeah. <laughs> um, Going to do Houston this year. With okay. Jay, with Jay Prince. Got you. Okay. Um, we were, so in 2020. That's major. September 2022. Mm-hmm. We were. I was talking to a, a brand owner who lives abroad, lives okay. in Africa, um, and we were having conversation. And he was telling me about the land, uh, what they were creating, and I was like, "Yo, I say, if you find me somewhere, we'll be, we'll do a taste of black spirits, <laughs> Africa." That's crazy, though, right? You just having the conversation, yeah. And like, you know what? Yeah, you find me somewhere to pull up. We we'll, we'll do up. it. And he was like, "What?" And immediately, and I'm talking, he was, he's a very well off guy. Like yeah. his brother, of course, he's brother. And uh-huh. he was, um, he was like, "What do you think about Nigeria?" <laughs> then he said Ghana. Then I'm like, "Oh, Ghana? You blowing my mind!" Like I got to right. come see now. Ghana? Me and the wife got to go out there. Yeah, see so what's what? the plan? We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Uh, hopefully, for, for during Christmas season, okay. we're gonna go 20 days. Now, had you had you been to Africa at all? No. So this would be okay. This would be this would be it's plan, be plan on getting that dual thing too. Oh, yeah. I, hear you, I hear you talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hear you talking. So we were That'd invited. So we were invited. Yeah. Uh, and then we're gonna probably we're gonna try to spend ten days in each place. Okay. Um, I'm excited for that. Uh, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that that may happen end of 25. Yeah. Or early twenty six. Duh, that's amazing, uh, bro. Yeah, man, that that's, that's like only a year away. Like, cause we twenty twenty four is over already. It, like, it is. I it mean, is, it, it really is. I, I say, I say, I manifest, and I'm saying it because I know it to be true. I'm already in the future, so yeah. I'm, I'm telling you what I see already. Facts, right? Dang. Um, when that's we wild. when I talked about Brooklyn, mm-hmm. said so that whole time, like, yeah, we doing Brooklyn. What yeah. are we doing that in June? What the what the fuck <laughs> is? It's, what do you mean we doing it? I had yeah. already listen. I told them that. I think I told them that that December so I didn't just drop it okay. on yeah. and they was like they was like okay we're doing it. so I started going to Brooklyn every mm-hmm. other week uh, every other yeah probably yeah probably every other every week. week and me and Sadat and Mike Jones we went down there and we just was casing out and getting the vibe now I'm from I'm very familiar with New York because I was coming from the music business with my brother we been out was there been every week right frequent that frequent yeah. right <laughs> but the Brooklyn energy is not the same as it was. Oh no, it's, com- it's completely ago, different. Right? It's completely different. <laughs> but there, that to Brooklyn, a good degree though. That Brooklyn is that Brooklyn. Yeah, you know, it's like, still there. People like, why do you? Because it's Brooklyn. Yeah. Only like, other place I could have thought was maybe Harlem. Because I like Harlem. Ha- Harlem. You know they. You know they. You know. Yeah, yeah I like Harlem. I love Harlem because yeah. because they they do they all support it. Yeah, right? for sure. And when we when we when we did it. It had never it had never been done. Shout out to everybody out there. Uh, Sip NYC, that him and his wife, they amazing. They just yeah. the the reception was fire because they needed it. They needed it. They, they needed was it. Like yeah. yo, what the what? Right, this where y'all been from here? <laughs> right, right. Exactly. It was one of those. Like what? Yeah. Who was this cat? Who was this guy? Uh, so so let's let's stop right there just for a second, yeah. though, right? Because I know it's like that. Yeah. But it's probably some people who mad too that they didn't bring it there first. I think I think it's some people who felt. Like they should have, yeah. But also appreciate that we did. Gotcha, right? So I see I, that's the love right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I think knowing how genuine somebody is mm-hmm. about what it is, because right. for me it, it ain't. I tell people it, it ain't about the money, man. Yeah. I need people. I need our people to know we exist Facts. like this because we spend three billion black people mm-hmm. spend three billion dollars on liquor Jeez. every every year three billion three billion Damn. us 
Yeah. You understand me? Three B's on that? <laughs> on that. Us? And we in here, so Come we might as well be getting a piece here. of that. Now imagine, now imagine, now imagine mm-hmm. this. So I do this this research. I uh-huh. be sed- I be said to this research. <laughs> All right. So it's fifty plus thousand black owned restaurants, bars, stores with active liquor licenses. Okay. In the United States. Okay. Right? In every state there's a minimum of every state you got about two to three brands. Every state. Mm-hmm. DC got thirty eight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Atlanta you got about another thirty. Probably a lot down there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So just think about think about servicing your own hometown. Right. Mm-hmm. We got seven here. Right. Think about servicing your own hometown. Think about if all those restaurants, all those black owned spaces decide to go all black bar. Right. We kill the game. Now this is a, you, you watch the wire. I think yeah. I've had this conversation. Yeah, no, for sure. Right? For sure. You watch the wire. It's, it's like Pop Joe. Yeah. It's a co op. <laughs> like, you know Joe. what? We we'll take all the br- black owned brands, we put them on the bars, mm-hmm. and we'll offer a ninety day et cetera, et cetera, whatever that whatever that agreement looks like, whatever that partnership looks like. Right. And keep it all and go all black. Yeah. It's not. It's not hard to do. Mm-hmm. It's a conscious decision that you just have to make. No, for Italians sure. do it all the time. Yeah. There's an Italian restaurant right now in California. Mm-hmm. They had. A, they gave an event. They allow you to come in and do an event in their space. Okay. Right. You come in and do your event, and you can bring outside brands in in the space. Yeah. Gentleman asks the owner, "Hey, mm-hmm. yo, how do I get my brand in on your shelf?" He said, "You can't." <laughs> Simple as that. He said, and he said, "I'll tell you why." Yeah. We come. We let you guys come in. We let people come in and do their private event because that's a private event. That's right. stuff you got to take with you. Right. But as a part of being of our portfolio, if it's not Italian, we don't well, fuck with it. And that's and that's just it's that. That's just it. That's it. That's just that. Because yeah. <laughs> that's all he has to say. Well, if it's not Italian, then uh, this right. Italian restaurant. What should we do? Right. What you want to do? Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. No, for sure. So that that part that part is is where I think like. Mm-hmm. We have to think about us. And yeah, I'll say that sure. again. We have to think about us. If I tell you right now it's 490 black owned spirit brands in the market, what you gonna do with that? <laughs> Shit. First of all It's seventy six available in Michigan right now. Right. See, first of all, I never knew it was that many. So so now I'm kinda like consciously looking for them yeah. when I go to certain bars. And then I'm kinda then when they're not there, I'm mad that they're not like how come Cause you got questions then. I got but, questions. But yeah. that's the that's what we want it to evoke. Yeah, right. We sure. want people. We want people like you who are constantly thinking about it because it's like that when you were young, right? You see, man, I'm gonna get me a, uh, I'm gonna get me a Benz 190 2.5, and you know where to yeah. find me. I'm gonna get right. that, <laughs> and then you start seeing it. Uh huh. You ain't, you ain't got the money for it, but you start seeing it because you done manifest it in Fast. your head. No, it's true. the same thing with liquor. Like yeah. when I when we do Taste of Black Spirits, people are taking that stuff home with them mentally. Mm-hmm. And then no. they're going to their stores and asking for it. Yeah. Unconsciously, they realize like, wait, y'all ain't got Island John? Right. Why you ain't got Island John? Shout out to Island John. Dude. Shout out to yeah. Island John, right? I make yeah. moves. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all, y'all ain't got, how y'all ain't got Island? You know, yeah. it's, it becomes that. Yeah, right. I enjoy and uh, stock the bar too. Man. Stock yeah, the, stock the bar. Stock, I, I see stock the bar on Tubi. I was like, oh hell. Let me let me tell you. Something. We all we all. I'm, I'm glad you said it. I'm, I'm gonna shift a little bit because he is he is the template mm-hmm. for products yeah. when it comes to corporate space. Um, he's in 119, or maybe a little more now. Mm-hmm. 119 Meyer stores, which is yeah. big corporate stores, right? Gotcha. Meyer probably in. I don't mean in there temporarily. I mean he been in there. In there, right? For sure. It's this thing yeah. called a planogram. I'm learning so much about Mike. Oh right yeah, now. yeah. Planogram part and, of marketing, yeah, shit, for sure. So yeah, he's I'm on still. that joint, yeah. and he's that. When I say the template, like he's doing extremely well with that. Nah, for sure. You imagine you had a hundred stores and they buy three cases a month. Right. That's crazy. That's the bag. Yeah, for sure. Everybody else. And he, uh, everybody he else. He's out of like, Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids. Right, right, right. Grand Rapids. Gotcha. Yeah. And he's not. He's not just. Not even just stock the bar. Him as an individual. Mm-hmm. Him as an individual. He does Boys and Girls Club. He does the Stock the Bar uh, Festival every year. He's okay. giving. He's deeply rooted in that community. Yeah, for so, sure. So, bec- so because of his ways, his character. Mm-hmm. It just make it. They move with him for him because right. he's able. He's he's a, he has great presence. Yeah, no, right. for sure. I mean, that's how I, I got hip to him. Obviously, at the uh, at one of your events, but then following him on social media, I'm like, damn, 
This guy. It's Friday. No, you hear me? You know what I mean? <laughs> every Friday, I'm Con- looking for that. be dope, though. Like, I'm I, looking yeah, for that every for Friday, sure. you know? So. Yeah, and I don't even, I'm not even a vodka drinker, yeah. but he had yeah. me drinking his vodka. Yeah, drink, yeah. So. <laughs> Shout out to Doug. Yeah, shout out <laughs> but to now, Dan. Now, you mentioned uh, Myers, though, so you got some. Well, first of all, let's stop there real quick. Like, yeah. not too long ago, a couple months ago, right? We yeah. just did uh, an interview with you down at Meyer, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, t- yeah, 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 pop, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop yeah, on yeah. that a little bit because like, yeah. you can't just graze over the fact <laughs> that you got one of the most recognizable voices in Detroit media yeah. like ever. Yeah, ever. To come down and do a, a one-on-one interview yeah. with you dog, down yeah. at Meyer. So, Tell people a little bit a little bit about that real quick. And yeah. I'm talking about Mason in case Mason, you didn't know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mason is, man, listen, Mason has supported me and I've always been a fan, as we all are. Fact. Always a super fan, right? Mm-hmm. I always said I used to tell people, I'm gonna meet Mason, I'm gonna meet him, I'm gonna be on mm-hmm. the show. Years ago. I've always said that. Yeah. Um, shout out to Coco for making that happen. Number sure. one. You know, she she hosted our two thousand February twenty three um Taste of Black Spirits. Yep, yeah, for sure. So that that interview was was like the the um what we call them in film the um climax no not <laughs> not no <laughs> no the uh <laughs> so it's not it's not part of the series but it's the first thing, the treat not the treatment but the um you come on help me out man not the treatment not the treatment the, the pitch the, yeah, not is. the pitch the first one the treatment is the first one. well it's something else for it Oh, the, the pilot. The pilot. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, my okay. wife was probably going to come with it in a oh, minute. Oh, yeah, in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> she was you know she was coming. Yeah. So the she pilot. That production. So that was like our pilot. And that, that episode, that was really just called, that was really just basically introduced. It was called The Book of Lazar, right? Yep. Um, and he is brilliant. Mm-hmm. We didn't, it's no rehearsal. It's none of that. No? No, none no. of that. He, I didn't send him anything. Okay. He didn't want it. Yeah. He came <laughs> off the top. Okay, nothing. Gotcha. I do yeah. this shit. Don't send me shit. And has been doing and, it and for I, a long I, time. Yes, huh? yes, <laughs> yes. And he and uh, he or actually he asked me when I, when he got there, what do you want me to touch on? This, this, and this. And he said, then I'm gonna do the rest. I said, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was that was phenomenal for me, yeah. right? Just to be able to share that, not just that stage with him, right? But share that piece of me with. Mm-hmm the folks in the room yeah um, no, for sure. and again and that meyer rivertown meyer shout out to shout out to everybody over there now shout out to my guy marcus mm-hmm. who was the director over that store which is in fact that store is the most successful store in my in Meyer's history Word. and it's only been there three years yeah. and what y'all gotta understand for people who lives who are listening outside of the city like this is major for meyer to be like inside the city for yeah, real so like because right. i know a lot of people don't understand that it's like you got it's a mire it's but a mire, like right? like for us now, it's in the 4207 exactly of Jefferson. you know what i'm saying yeah. you know right down the street from the greatest high school ever in existence uh, Martin Luther King Junior Senior High School. Uh, maybe for my sisters and brothers but not for me <laughs> <laughs> you know that's neither here nor there though so how did, how did that partnership or like that relationship i guess with the mire down there how did that even happen taste the black spirits so okay. taste the black spirits 2022 mm-hmm. um their diversity individual came out. Her name is Cavi. Cavi came to the to the Taste of Black Spirits. Okay, and I had I had spoke with her prior to that through Daryl. Daryl in uh, Stock the Bar introduced right. me to her over the phone. Okay, he was like, oh, and he she, plugged. He plugged. <laughs> so listen, we he when he called me, and you know that's two hours away. Oh yeah, right. And he's like, yo, she want to meet you. I'm like, I'm on my way. Right. He's like, right now? I'm like, yeah. Right now. Right now. Tell me where. That's what we do, right? <laughs> exactly. I'm bringing the bottle of Duke and Dame to For it, sure. right? So we uh, we get out there. I, you know, I set it up. She gets on my panel. Mm-hmm. For li- so Liquid is our education component right. to Taste of Black And this is my first Liquid we added in 2022. Yep. So she's on the panel. She's talking about, her, you know, what it is she do. And she sends an email to the um, director, who was Marcus, over at the Detroit store. Gotcha. Immediately, he was like, I'm in. Right, and, he, <laughs> and then she it. brought I'm him in. to the Taste of Black Spirit, so he saw it for it. He experienced it for himself. Right. When I say this guy is brilliant with what he does, not just at that store because what his future is about to look like is he's an amazing guy. Yeah. But he made sure that not just local, but black small business had space in that place, yeah. right? And not not just space, but what were, were able to, they were able to to really make a difference for themselves and their right. families in his space. It's, gotcha. a, it's a beautiful store. Like I said, it's it one is. of the most successful stores in Myers history. And that, that, that relationship started with him. Mm-hmm. 
that like right then and then the following year because oh let me rephrase so we brought duke and dame in first gotcha that was the first product that we had in my was okay. duke and dame um very successful we was running through three cases a week like yeah. very people were really excited about it and me and Sadat, we were very very active yeah i was gonna say very, very active on the market very very active <laughs> very, very active, active on the market, right? yes so it started with that then we would build that data Mm -hmm. Then we would go and we would take that data and we're like, oh, this is what we're doing over here. Right. Or this is what we're doing in that store. Let's bring in these other products. Right. Island John, mm -hmm. right? Um, Fort Mose. Mm -hmm. um, um, I don't think we even had the other products at the time. But every Mind product that, yeah. every product that we really we really killed them with Duke and Dane first. That was the one who yeah. really set the tone for everything that followed. Okay. So that following June, which is June, right before June 1st, 2023, yep. they sponsored us at the um, Cadillac Hotel. Gotcha. They sponsored the Black Spears Legacy Lounge. Yeah. When I say sponsored the Black Spears Legacy Lounge. Sponsored it. I mean sponsored the Black Spears <laughs> Legacy Lounge. I mean. Heavy on the, heavy I mean, on the spot. Heavy on the spot. <laughs> right. I mean, we were able to really showcase what it was we had yeah. our you know we have our own bars we have everything we bring right. we bring a production oh it's cool. and when i say we set that boy off it's a huge ballroom that yeah. was our bar yeah you understand me oh, like the whole thing so that and that was also doing um what is that daytona is that what was that race weekend not daytona what's uh that? grand prix grand prix yeah. weekend so it was mm -hmm. huge everybody was here for sure and we really got a incredible spotlight right yeah. which also seated us into that hotel also yeah. so we had product they order product through the hotel oh, okay, right man. Okay, so, worked out win win for everybody yeah, win win yeah. for everybody so that started this and me and Cavi had been talking about um an initiative we had no name for it yet okay um and she she brought us out that so that following august she brought us out to grand rapids so i said brought us out i mean i had several brands find sign up for this this huge thing that they were doing for Black Business Month okay. in um, August. I mean, in Grand Rapids. Yep. And we had Black Mama, Fort Mose, yeah. Duke and Dame, Island John, Frisky Whiskey, Frisky Whiskey. Uh, Tipsy, Tipsy, which is Can Rum, which is excellent. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry, not Can Rum, but it's Rum Cocktail in a Can. In a Can, gotcha. Um, who else we have? Oh, J, uh, Loyalty Wines, mm. um, Alexis George Wine, um, and several other brands. Okay. Now, we were basically doing a presentation. That was a pres presentation of spirits for the buyers and right. buyer, right? Gotcha. So those folks, the buyer at that time, he came through, the main, buy main buyer came through. He, you know, did his selections. He didn't say, of course, he's not going to tell anybody right then. Mm -hmm. And through that process, uh, so I was 23 so November by November of that same year mm -hmm. we had sealed a deal right and that deal was bringing in 10 African American owned brands into 10 by I'm sorry into 6 Meyer Super Center locations so 10 a, each 10, 10 each store 10 oh, brands shit. each okay. store yeah. on an end cap end cap yeah. is the most visible space yeah. in the yeah. store right so we were able to lock that in. That, and that initiative is called In Good Spirits. Gotcha. Right? Okay. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Yeah. So we occupy that whole space. Um, for So the brands that were chosen for that, mm -hmm. Island John, of course. Of course. Duke and Dame, of course. Right. Uh, Loyalty Wines. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Tom Bullock. Mm. Yeah. He was at, oh, let me, that's my guy there. Alan is such, yeah. a, he's such a great person. Nah, for sure. So Tom Bullock and Bertie Brown. So okay. he got two. See, I like Bertie Brown. Yeah, he I like Bertie two. Brown. Better. But if you mix them both together, you're gonna have an incredible. Trust me, he sent that to me. I'm like, mix them both together. He's like, yeah. Well, yeah, because because Tom Cause Bullock is damn near a cocktail yeah, it, already. It's, it's really, it's really. I ain't gonna tell you that. I'll tell you off script. I'll tell you yeah. that later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you that later. Well, I, know, I, I know it's it's basically already a mixture though, just from yeah. reading the and just how it tastes. Yeah, I mean it, it tastes it's wonderful. True, it, but it's truly what's the difference is not a syrup. Right, they, right. They literally burn the oranges in the barrel. Oh, okay. And okay. that's what you're getting. That's what you're getting. Okay. That's what you're getting. Right? I got you. So those brands that's dope too, though. So in good spirits is that initiative of bringing and giving these giving our product a stage to perform. Right. I don't say giving us a chance or giving us an opportunity, mm -hmm. giving us the stage. So we already know how to perform. Right. 
You understand just what I'm need saying? Somebody to see we're us. already Michael Jackson. Right. <laughs> You understand? Just we already right Jordan. Stage. We just yeah. got to be on the right stage. Yeah, for so sure. So now yeah. that we have the stage, now we have to perform. Yeah. And performing is making sure people know that we are at these locations, right? We're at six locations with Eight Mile location, the Grand River location, mm -hmm. two Warren locations, and one Sterling Heights. Gotcha. And that's okay. right now. Yeah. And then there, we're, so Duke and Dame, Island John and T. Capri and uh, Fort Mose are in the other four these are market format stores so we were 10 total 10 yeah. total Meyer stores gotcha. for market for super centers yeah. so that that's a when you, when you think about that that's never happened right. ever yeah in Meyer's history ever i mean that's that's major though just to be kind of like uh i guess we would call it showcased mm -hmm. for the most part basically so that, yeah that's major mm -hmm. that's major yeah. and for for mose I've actually been seeing that in a lot of places. Yeah, listen. Yeah, I, I don't Speaking, know how you brought him up. I got to tell you, first of all, congratulations to to him, mm -hmm. to Victor. Oh yeah, because he's been salute, all the news. Salute to Victor. Even all the news lately. He literally just broke ground for the, his distillery. Yep, I saw that. The Victory I Building. I love that. First of all, I love that. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. You know, and I'm 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 proud for him to be in our portfolio. I see a lot of great things we're getting ready to do with Fort Mose. Mm -hmm. But that's that's a real story. Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say the story behind it. The story just behind it is his just, story and the actual story right, behind it. Right, all of it. Right. Yeah. You know, he was a rapper. I, you know, I, you know, <laughs> I said, oh, okay, went down the rabbit yeah, hole a little don't bit. Do that yeah. no more. <laughs> <laughs> but had he Steve not done experience. it had he not done it right he wouldn't have got the hotel true he wouldn't have got in the and he's been a liquor business a long time yeah this everything he did took him to where he's going right yeah. now so it you can't you can't take away anything right right so it just all makes sense and again like i, I salute him uh shout out to duke and dame duke and dame For sure Last year, we secured 360 public stores Damn, in okay. Florida and, and, and those surrounding areas. Like, that's yeah. a big deal. 300 and something stores. You know, I don't even know if right? we got the product for that. Because the ladies love that. Yeah, it, oh, the my ladies goodness. Love that. Oh, oh, my man, goodness. The ladies love man. that. Man. Listen. Yeah, and, and it's great. It's great <laughs> salted caramel whiskey because, it, again, yeah. it's not it's not what you get. You know, that, that if it's too syrupy, that's just staying yeah, in your throat. It's not sure. that. No, it's, it's not, not that. that right? yeah. so, so then I then Island John. Yeah. So here we come again. Always doing this thing for sure. Come on, man. We got yeah. four impressions right now. We got the coconut vanilla, mm -hmm. the mango peach, which is our best seller. We out of Michigan. We out right now in Michigan. Yeah. That's that. The apple guava, which is Sadat's favorite, mm -hmm. uh, and then we got the um, our regular new the regular, Richie yeah. Reserve. Now, so we got the new Richie Reserve in the one point seven five, which is mm -hmm. the big boys, right? Yeah, leader. Just walking around with that big boy <laughs> remind right. me of the rap days. You know, you know, you're in the, you got your right. big bottles, right? <laughs> <laughs> you walk in there, you that drinks for everybody with exactly, that, right? Yeah. So just just Shout being leader just being able to be amongst these guys who really get up every day mm -hmm. to push their agenda. Oh, for sure. To, you know, and these are these are owners. Yeah. But they still got it. This is their job. So yeah. they still gotta get in that field. And I and I see it, right? Like so I, I see I see the growth in it and everything, right? And yeah. I know you you work on the back end and everything. Like yeah. this was your vision. And I don't know how much of it that you kind of accept credit for it. Because I ain't going to lie. When I started seeing stuff plays, I'm like, damn, Black Spears did that. <laughs> Not to take away from the individual's grind. Yeah. But, yeah. like, I do feel like the visibility, yeah. a I, lot came from y'all. We we used to sit back and let things happen. Yeah. Right? Um, the guy from Channel 4 mm -hmm. told me after he interviewed me, he was like, you can't sit back. Right told me that day like you can't sit back he said you running this engine you got to be that person doing it right mm -hmm. and people have to know that it's you doing it right yeah. i i take credit for what is where credit is due mm -hmm. if that makes sense yeah. right i know we're directly responsible for this data i'm about to share with you right okay i know that we're directly so in 2020 before we introduced taste of black spirits mm -hmm. Specifically, black-owned spirit brands in the state of Michigan sales were about eighteen million dollars. Okay, right. Twenty-one through twenty-two, thirty-two million dollars. Mm. Twenty-two to twenty-three, forty-eight million dollars yeah. in specific black-owned sales. I'm certain we were directly responsible for that. For sure, right? For sure. I am positive that we are definitely responsible for bringing attention and shedding and turning the light up 
on yeah. these brands because light already been on them. Yeah, light been on. So we've been turning the light up, and we turn the light up on a regular basis. Right. They don't never run out. Nah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yes, I, I'll say we we're. We are very responsible for a lot of these things that are happening. In yeah. fact, we are, I know we're responsible for people who see it as, I'm going to try that. Right, exactly. Not Without realizing that that's the show. Yeah. We do the show in the business. Right. <laughs> the you show understand? in the business, right. Now, Shout out to you. James Brown. We do <laughs> right. we the show in the business, yeah. right? Most people don't know. If you if you contact and this is again this is not being arrogant or being any kind of way we have earned no no you what put the work we in. do we put the work in and we putting the work in consistently and constantly right so when you gotta be when, when people when pe- <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be <laughs> so when people look at it like oh yo hey uh I'm a, I want to reach out to one of those brands now mm-hmm. I'll say this and I've said this to people we both me and Sada both tell people like mm-hmm. okay. You want to do reach out to who? Right. Because who you need to talk to, you talking to. Right. Exactly. But most people want, you know, we call them opportunists. They're like, yeah, I'm going to go directly. I'll get something better from if I go direct. Yeah. So many times. That's so not true, though. Honestly. So not true. So yeah. many times those folks do that. Mm-hmm. And the owner says to them. You know Black Spirit? You know Lazar and Sadat? Right. Because that's who you need to be talking to. Right. So now you got to come back with your tail. Not, and then not only do they <laughs> tell you that, they done shot us a text. I told you, yeah. yeah well, you know this? You understand? <laughs> yeah. So no, we're for not, sure. it's, for us, it's a relationship. No doubt. You know what I mean? I, the, the people who who not only respect what me and what we all do, because it's not, it's not just me and Sadat anymore, right? Right. But respect what we do as a collective they also are invested in the relationship like right. we got good relationships with all the people i named not yeah. just when it's not just a business this is bigger than a business relationship it's like yo you got me and i got you no nah, for sure because i see what y'all are doing mm-hmm. right i see that y'all your intention is real right. nobody's done this before right stood up for you know what I'm saying? It's like standing up for your, your little cousin, even though your little cousin is a martial arts expert. <laughs> right. But you still, you, you, you still got doing it. You, yeah. you got him. I got you regardless, right? Exactly. And that's the understanding that we have with who we work with. Like, I, I genuinely, from Vanessa to Tiffany to to Ursula to, uh, of course, my wife, that's un, un, that, yeah. I don't even got to speak on that. Right, exactly. But to everybody that's involved in what it is we're building, mm-hmm. we truly mean what we say. This ain't yeah. pretend. This ain't that we ain't in the club. Like, oh, look at us. <laughs> hey, that's right. goofy shit. Like, nah, we ain't sure. into that. We in the, sure. how do we take them to the next level? Yeah. That Meyer move, that don't happen. That don't happen overnight. Exactly. You, know, you know, you want to know how many people are in between <laughs> me and the person who makes the decision. Right. For, uh, I'll rephrase that. You know how many people are in between mm. a brand owner. Gotcha. And the person who makes the decision at a Meyer store. No, it's got to be plenty. Minimum 100 people. Right. It's got to be plenty. That's, yeah. 100, <laughs> that's 100. That's 99 people too many in the way. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You understand me? Right. So we've been fortunate enough. This, I mean this like mm-hmm. turn this up <laughs> we've <laughs> been for, this one. we've been fortunate enough and I, I'll never forget this I remember uh, me and Amani from Duke and Dane we had a meeting you know mm-hmm. presentation over at Great Lakes right Okay. and I met a young lady who, who works in there you know working in the department shout out to Megan and Megan was like she came to taste. She came to our liquid panel, so I met her okay. there. Gotcha. And so she was very intrigued about what it was. What are we doing? Well, how do we identify the if it's if it's a black home brand? How do we identify? I said, you see that logo mm-hmm. over there that says Black Spears Legacy. Yeah. Print them on. Put them on every box. Right. She like, oh shit. You asked, right? Did <laughs> you, you not ask? You asked. I got yeah. a solution for everything. Right. Right. So we we built a rapport. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, at Great Lakes, we got. I think we got nine products over there. Okay. Over at Great Lakes, maybe ten, right? So we built a report. Just a distributor. Distributor. Great, I'm sorry, yep. Great Lakes distributor. I got you. Right. So we built a report over there. We built great relationships with the all the leaders. Right. I said, she said, so what do we need to do better? I said, you need to get the people mm-hmm. that are 
in the way. I need you to tell them if they can't make decisions, I don't need to talk to them. I said, I'm, and so what I mean, I'm saying yeah, is, up, yeah. I don't need me. I don't need to talk to nobody that can't make decisions. Right. Because I'm not saying disrespect nobody's job, but if you can't make it, because I'm looking for solve. Right. I'm looking <laughs> for elevation, and you can't do it. Right. Cause just because it's not in your will, it's not for <laughs> right. you. Right, just say what you do. Yeah. So she sent out an email mm. to everybody. Yeah, let them know. <laughs> Mister Favors said, right. And I was if in the email. If you can't make it, move. if you can't make a move, <laughs> move out talk. the way. Yeah, that's right? real. That's so real. that jump. So now watch this. Watch how yeah. this, watch how the energy work. Okay. So the energy takes us, you know, as we build it with with Meyer and etc. Mm -hmm. Um. The individual that made the decision on the 10 mm -hmm. left Meyer. Okay. The original guy. Gotcha. The new guy comes in. He's not from Meyer. He's never worked with Meyer before. Mm -hmm. Calls me on a Sunday, March 17th. Remember the date. And he said, he, he said, I'm going to be quick. I don't apologize. I want to introduce myself. I just took over the, the old buyer's um, position. I just want to let you know. I saw your e. I saw. I got some emails shared with me about your initiative. Mm -hmm. He say, "I want to make that's my priority." Yes. He say, "Are you available on Tuesday, which was the following Tuesday?" Mm -hmm. I say, "Yeah, but I'll be flying to Vegas." Yeah. And he was like, "It don't matter what time it is." Yeah. Right. True story. Okay. Got on a call with him after I landed. I'm still in. I'm in the hotel yeah. downstairs. <laughs> Let's get off the get off the road, right? right? And we having this conversation. He introduces himself and he say. What do I need to do? Yeah. I said, well, this was already in motion. I need this to stay in motion. Right. And he, you know, he introduced himself. Kind of about me, it. Yeah. Gave me his background. You know, he he come from uh, Costco, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, so we have a standing meeting every other week. Mm -hmm. This is the person. This the number one. This the this the guy. This the guy who yeah. I talk to yeah, him. Man. He tell everybody else. Yeah. I ain't gotcha. talk to nobody else. Facts. We we go. now we'll share information with each other with everybody in it so yeah. they'll know What's what going we're on. talking about and that we're exchanging the conversation as opposed to thinking that the conversation is being had without leadership. Right, right. This is your leadership. Me and him I gotta understand because I told him the same thing. Like, right. Look, <laughs> I ain't talk to nobody else. Right. Because I'm that. talking to you. I don't need to talk to anybody else. Yeah. Not only Initially, we talked business, mm -hmm. but I got a feel for him. He shared got his he's energy. from D.C., getting ready to have a baby, looking for a house, got to do yard work this weekend, <laughs> all of that. You know everything that's going on. Everything, yeah. but but that also helps build what it is we're, that, that allows us to talk to each other correctly. Right. That allows us to get an understanding of who each other is, right? Mm -hmm. And it also allows us to move at a pace and in a direction that is beneficial for both of us. Yeah. Right? I agree. So with that being said, it's like I don't deal with the people in between. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to talk about. You <laughs> right. Know? Ain't shit they can do for Ain't nothing they can do for me. And you know, ironically right. my wife gonna appreciate this because there was a store. Mm -hmm. One of those so I have to go to those stores and let them know, like, yo, this product is coming. Right. And this is what's happening. Where's my where's my end cap? Right. Exactly. That's really all I'm there for yeah. is the end cap. Exactly. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> right. No, for sure. So one store decides to say to me this this is where things kick in this is where we have to, we deal with so many things and most people don't know all the things that we deal with under the black spirits collective like we right. from a to z and it don't stop right. right no brand could none of the brands could have these conversations that i'm having with these people and still right you know what i'm saying because they, they wouldn't have they wouldn't be having with the right people anyway. they wouldn't have it with the right yeah, people exactly so the the woman I goes into the store she comes out i, I got a I already have a meeting set with her. So he comes okay. out and she says, um, I tell her what we bring it in. She's like, oh, wait, well, you can bring in the wine, but you can't bring in the spirits. I said, what? She said, because we have a high theft. Mm -hmm. I said, listen, <laughs> as you <laughs> tell me that y'all loading liquor mm -hmm. on the shelf. Right. I said, what do y'all, what, what things are in place for your liquor, pro your theft problem? Right. Well, you know, we've been trying to do this and do that. I'm like, well, let me tell you this. Mm -hmm. This is happening. Right. <laughs> you figure out how not to get the stove. This is happening. <laughs> right. And she looked because she you know, people tell you things thinking you're just going to walk away. Like, like, oh, okay. No. Right. No. Right. This is happening. 
and here's your and here's a freebie here's your solve block this area off mm -hmm. make it a one interest put a 21 and over sign at the beginning of this opening mm -hmm. put a register there at the opening if you can't come in here if you ain't 21 right they buy it here they go they gone yeah that's how you solve that yeah that what you sense. just said right don't make no sense for this <laughs> listen man i was like this i think this really? is a white lady Yes, I, I, I kind of figured. I, I, in my mind, like, I kind of figured. Did you really say that right now? Yeah. Literally, the person behind her had just brought out a cart of liquor that just came in and yeah. loading the shelf with liquor. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. I can't, my just face stop up. playing. Stop playing. I'm not that guy. I'm, I'm the guy that's gonna take it all the way. Yeah. My thinking don't stop because I expect you. Right. Even if you don't, I still have something loaded. Just yeah. in case you do, I just load it. I stay loaded. <laughs> so you stay ready from the east side. Come on, man. Right. <laughs> like I tell us, we stay loaded. We nah, stay for ready sure. for those conversations. Right. Yeah. We exercise our thoughts. I, I'm exercising all day on what because we come up against that. Right. Because when people see you, they like. First of all, how did you get there? Yeah. How are you? How are you talking to him? Yeah. They want to know who you are. Like how? How and, is and he? How you got it? How like you that? skipping all of us? Right. <laughs> He's exactly. real shit. <laughs> no, like, how is sure. he skipping all of us? Right. Well, it ain't that y'all don't matter. I just it don't matter to me. Right. It's not going like for what? Like for we what? waste everybody's time. You know, I'm gonna yeah. come into your store and I'm gonna give you what the instructions because you already received them. Right. Like, we all we got the same email. You right. received you know your instructions. You know what it is. You know what it is. I was coming. Right. You knew I was coming. <laughs> right. So do what do what you were told. Right. And it's again, it's not disrespect. It's about change. <laughs> do what you were told. Do because it's change. I mean, he even said it though. It's change the command. Listen, yeah, we had, we talk Friday. We talk Friday, and he even said what he's been encountering as the new person. Like these people think they can tell me yeah. what they gonna do and not do. Oh, yeah. He said, I think it's just been some confusion for some years. <laughs> this is what he said. <laughs> it's some confusion in what they are, the understanding yeah. of chain of command, like. <laughs> If I say it's coming in there, then it's coming in there. Bottom line. Bottom line. Like, <laughs> right. you can't say we can't accept it. Who are you talking to? <laughs> this is him. Like, this is, what he, this is basically how he was feeling. Like, like I yeah. said, we, we share real conversation. Facts. You know, Facts. He, he, That's important. And, and he's the kind of person who literally went and had a camera with him mm -hmm. and just to test how long it takes in liquor space mm -hmm. what he he do, he's doing his research okay right i like that which which makes sense they got know. the right man they got the right man yeah. and he come from, like i said he come from costco and he shared with me that he he was under uh uh, uh a brother a gentleman who was the lead liquor person for costco it's a brother oh okay he he Never was known under him yeah and uh -huh. he he shared him with me. He was like, "Yo, I learned everything from this individual here. I'm gonna introduce you on LinkedIn." Man, brother retired. The this, love he did it for 35 years. The love his boss. Yeah. So now I got a sense of his values because of who he worked with. Facts. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So yeah. So people people want to know like like you said people trying to figure out how you get to that point where you can skip the line basically. Right? <laughs> So like people want to know you, yeah. So from yeah. what I understand, yeah, yeah, you got like some documentary kind of situation popping up yeah, right now, yeah, right? yeah. So so people can get to know yeah. who you are, yeah. And, it, and how it, the hell you skip the line <laughs> and telling people that I bring this shit in regardless. <laughs> well, again, you know what? Before before we do that, yeah. Introduce that the the bourbon that you uh that you brought today. Uh oh, let me if they can you see it? Yep, yeah, we good right there. So yeah. that's this is called Boogie Chilling Bourbon. John Lee Hooker. John Lee Hooker is one of the most famous blues artists in the in the world, right? He's he's an iconic person. Um, this is hundred proof Kentucky straight bourbon. Legacy. Legacy Spirits. Most people's like, Legacy Spirits, is that y'all? <laughs> right. I I'll, I'll, I'll take it, but no. Take not. It <laughs> right? yeah. But this gentleman, his name is Glenn, his grandson. His grandson put this out. And it has already won six awards yeah. i mean i don't mean no you know neighborhood awards i mean right. like big boy awards yeah for sure before he even sold the case they already already did that um, and i apologize ahead of time I, I didn't know who john lee hooker was i, I didn't know he, he know, know it's okay know it's okay it's okay so it's now okay. real cool we getting ready to uh get a little sample here yeah tell me what you think all right well, you know i am then we're gonna I get know. into your documentary salute salute Hmm. Uh, you know what? Not as much. 
not as much caramel as I was anticipating, which is cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I do like caramel because it makes it a little sweeter. It's kind of spicy though, almost like a rye, almost. Okay. I'm gonna tell you though, for a hundred proof, the hug is not long though. I thought it would last a right. whole lot longer. It's good though. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, good, good. Shout out to John Lee Hooker. Shout, shout out to John Lee Hooker. <laughs> shout out to Glenn Thomas. So Glenn Thomas, uh, it's him and his mom. So John Lee Hooker's daughter, and Glenn Thomas. By the way, first of all, Glenn Thomas is from here. Oh, from from Detroit. He'll okay. tell you I moved at eight years old. Blah blah blah. Oh, you spent eight years of life here. here? You spend you steal from here. Sir. Yeah, you from here. You from here. I don't care what <laughs> we you claiming them. <laughs> we claiming you, sir. No, for sure. Uh, but right now, and again, so let's talk about how we talked about um, our friend Daryl with uh, Stock Stock Bar, Bar, yep. positioning, right? Yep. So he's in a great position. Okay. This product is in a great position out the gate. Okay. He's already. He's, he emailed me the approval yesterday. Mm -hmm. Fifty total wine stores. Total wine? Fire. 50. Fire. Total, 50 wine, total, total wine, wine is like the, the bourbon haven. The Listen, total wine is the bully <laughs> right. of the business. Of the business, period. Yeah, yeah. Total wine, like, what y'all got? What we doing? Give me all that. Right. <laughs> they, you know what I'm they make you play. If, hey, don't. Ain't no fake in the front with total wine. They, they are. And salute. Again, I'm proud of that because. That's just striking when the fire is hot. For sure. You get the, you literally, you got six, six awards before you even had a case of product. Right. So as yeah. soon as you get your, as soon as your palate drop, mm -hmm. this is what you it's get. It's selling, right. It's April. Right. He didn't even have a bottle when I met him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. He's like, I don't know what the bottle going, what you right. mean? Like, got it together. Got it together. Perfect bottle. Look, I mean, look at that bottle, man. Yeah, I love look at, it. Look at the details. I love it. Right? It has yeah. the, the tribute story on the side. Mm -hmm. Like, this is not something that's just going to... Right. No, not no, for that's, sure. That's... Yeah. It, it's, you know... It almost feels like both. etching. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's gorgeous. And it's, it's dope. The, it's really... It's really a play on the era of mm -hmm. Johnny Hooker. Because when you think about whiskey, this was... This is the bottle for yeah, whiskey. For sure. You know what I mean? Nah, for sure. Think about Westerns, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's true. And then, psh, you yeah, know, that type That's why of I like the, uh, speaking when you say Western, that's like why the uh, the High West bottle is made just like that because it's, it? yeah, okay. it's like that, yeah. Okay. Not yeah. black on, but just, you know. I mean, you, you got to do your whiskey thing. <laughs> yeah, I gotta I gotta do my whiskey I'm thing, changing yeah. that, though. That's for sure. Yeah, we're going to get that together. All right, so back, back to the. Uh, and they going to be full bottles, just so you know. <laughs> well, I mean, for a while. <laughs> yeah. As long as they are full. I mean, whatever that means, right? You don't know what that means with you. Right, exactly. You and you and uh, what's my man? Uh, angry, 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 angry principal. And, you know, uh, depends on how y'all feel one day. I know y'all might do six shows in a day. I don't know. <laughs> you know, we get down like that. We get right. down like that for sure. Yeah. But now the, the documentary though, like, so people can get to know about you. Like, how what what's going on with that? Can I know even at uh, some of the Black Spears, like everybody was like mic'd up. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm guessing that was part of it. Yeah. yeah. So so, in good spirits, the docu series mm -hmm. is not even about me. Oh really? It's okay. more so bringing to life stories of people like Vanessa. Oh okay. Uh, people like Russell out of Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. who most people don't know. Paul out of uh, these are distillers. I'm talking about. Okay. These are those stories. First, we're just a part of their story. Gotcha. Right. The way the way the docu series is is again, it's more about them, their story, and highlighting what it is they've done mm -hmm. in this industry. You know, I, I started it. I started shoot. We started shooting it in 2021. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Since then, some things we had to do different. And then I decided, like, you know what? Let's start at the beginning. Let's start with Vanessa. Yeah. Let's start with um, Jackie. Let's start with those distillers. Mm -hmm. So that the the plan is to to start with those folks too. So we revamp and we still have all the footage we have. You know, yeah. with people we, we got interviews with. But the goal is, the goal is not us. And right. the goal is to make that happen and they benefit off of that. Okay. So this also. is really, this is an extension of the event itself. Basically. It's the extension okay, of the I event because the I event will always be a part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, those highlights that you see that working effort, yeah. that, that true, because what you'll get is true response. Right. Right. You'll get that engagement that's real, that mm -hmm. we, we, we can't act that. Right, exactly. You can't, can't act, that, act that, right? So, in order to cover, in order to cover it authentically, mm -hmm. we have to be at doing it. Right, no, right? for sure. You know, so that that part is. I'm excited about it because yes, yes, it includes 
me, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> of course, right. Sadat, of course, and his and him and his, as himself. Like I got a I got a clip with Sadat is walking around the room. is a dope clip. I don't even think they knew that they were shooting that. Like, right. and you see him interacting with people, just checking yeah. on the brand specifically, For sure. making sure they are right. You know, he's handling business. Mm-hmm. You can see it; it's authentic. Yeah. Again, you can't recreate that. Right. So you have sure. to just have it. I can't say cut, hey, do that again. <laughs> right. It doesn't like, work like that. Right. right. No, so sure. and then with 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 Vanessa, first of all, she's doing some great things now that you're mm-hmm. gonna see very soon that are, are part of us, part from us. But um her story is huge. Right. I don't think people really understand the quality of this individual. Mm-hmm. Like this individual is a master. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know either until you broke you down some stuff. Yeah, she, like, is yeah. A ma- she is her thinking ability goes beyond. Yeah. Like she is tr- a true scientist. I promise you, she probably think in her sleep and, <laughs> and then wrote all over the pillow or something. Right. Like, I just because she it don't stop for her. She's not right. only a master distiller who owns a distillery mm-hmm. who who create brands for numerous amounts of people including one of my our, my now great friend Ron Isley okay. his brandy and and, and, and her, him and oh let me rephrase that's Ron and Candy Isley those are the owners I don't never I want to make sure I'm Say, clear on that, that. Right, don't make sure I'm clear because I just literally talked the other day and I'm saying yeah we're going to need you to step out front a little heavier too yeah, because yeah. she is very vocal in right. that situation yeah, you part of this yeah, you part sure. of it right no doubt. so she created their product and numerous other products. I mean, mm-hmm. you're talking about numerous things that she just she can't even tell us she's right. doing. But like, and, and that's the amazing thing about this whole event, though. Like, we don't know we don't know her right. before this event, right? And she's still doing her thing, chugging yeah. along, yeah, making it happen. But then now it's for like those aspiring uh, spirits owners who who might want to partner with her to let 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 her distill yeah. like their products, yeah. like. These are connections that some of these people coming into the game would have never made. No. And no. never would have knew how to. No. And, and so this is this is crazy. And I'll go back to what you said. We are directly, directly um, responsible for that. Even so I'm jumping around a little bit just so so you can get cl- clarity on. Let's go back to partnership. So okay. we, we have a partnership with a company called Prongcorn. Oh, yeah. Shout out to them, too. Shout out to Prongcorn, yes. right? So Prongcorn has successfully funded 30 brands to mm-hmm. date right um when you think about when we brought when we partnered with Prongcorn, when they came into the fold mm-hmm. we were on our fourth taste of black spirits okay february 2022 two yeah right yeah. so when they came into the fold they brand they were literally straight off the porch yeah. they literally was off the porch november that had, had it, that november so that was, 2021 that Yes, I didn't know that. We was their very, we was their first first partners. What? Yeah, they don't operate. They don't operate like this. Yeah, they don't hey, operate like you, it. You ain't got to. You got three billion dollars. You know, yeah, factual, but, factual. See, the company is new, but the individuals that are nah. part of the company. Gotcha. Man, these are these are. They had to be around. These are spirit masters. Yeah, they had to be because there's you know no way I mean? that these that machine spirit, would work like yeah, that. Yeah, these are spirit masters. Yeah. I mean, shout out to Steve Conley, Shaniqua everybody over there mm-hmm. kevin all those guys yeah shout, out, shout out all of them right i'm just saying okay so when you th- when i when when we when they came on um they came on the brands were introduced they were brands were excited like what's this you got money in the room what is this right because right. that, that was one of the first times we we had Funding source, investment source in the room. Now we had prior to prior to that one, we had, of course, we had retail, major retail, etc. Right. These components that's necessary for growth. Mm-hmm. Now we got investment in the room yeah. that are looking f- with fresh dollars, right? With a brand new bank book, <laughs> exactly. Right? You got they, room. They itching. <laughs> Let me spend. Right. Let me. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. For so, sure. so I I can I can confidently say that we're responsible for. 75 percent of the brands that are on that are in their portfolio yeah no for sure like, you that, have to be yeah. that's a true statement yeah like, for y'all to be the event that they jumped out on and the, yeah. the people to partner with then yeah, yeah you gotta yeah. take yeah. responsibility I, for we gotta that. take responsibility for Hell that because yeah. it's a fact <laughs> i mean you think of uh, like every like literally the brands that are uh, mostly in our portfolio here mm-hmm. are in that portfolio but that uh, they know yeah. both sides though i don't know yeah. i'm not sharing something that they nobody realizes no, it's for sure. true 
right? Yeah. I'm I'm only saying it out loud. This this stuff I don't say out loud because yeah. we're doing the work. Facts. But we have to step back and look at the work that's being done and be like, okay, we did do that. Mm-hmm. We we did um, accomplish that goal, and the right. goal was to elevate those brands. And it happened. And it happened. Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? It ain't just happened. It really happened. Mm-hmm. It really happened for some of them. Like really happened. Yeah. I won't go into no numbers. Right. I got. But you. it really but happened. It really happened. <laughs> but it it gives it it serves it shows other brands that are looking to possibly work with us or mm-hmm. looking to hopefully come to the uh, uh and, and uh, it should be a requirement you should come to the taste of black spirits if you're any black brand you should be there yeah because nah, the quality the quality of things that are afforded to you when mm-hmm. you get there and it's, it's elevating every time it's like elevating every, every time, time you know? so so like get on before the train leaves you know, get, so get like on that. get <laughs> on this thing right get on this yeah. thing be a part of this thing and then attach yourself mm-hmm. to it now, just so, just so that you're aware, anytime I go anywhere that's got a bar, I talk about y'all. And this is this is how I know that y'all are working. Because every place I've been and I talk about y'all, they already got your card. See? <laughs> I remember when I first went down to uh, shout out to Birds. All right? I was yeah. down at Birds, and uh, I did an interview for Mr. Oh, yeah, we was doing an interview down there. And then, matter of fact, I, him and uh, Liquor Guy Dwayne do, do a spot down there every Thursday now. But I remember asking Dog, uh, Stephen, right? Yeah, yeah, Stephen. I remember asking him, like, you know, I don't see no yeah. black whiskeys and bourbons. Like, I, I know a guy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I got to talking about y'all, and he was like, oh, yeah, I talked to Lazar. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, These yeah. boys be working. Yeah. Listen, man. But I just want to let you know when I'm Thank out. You. Thank you. I let people know because, like, it's a – and I, I know we do a, a, a podcast, so obviously we got a different – like, we always looking for stuff, and yeah. everybody not always looking for black on on spirits, but – like now that I've got in touch because of Black Spirits, it's like now I'm looking. Yeah. And when it's not, I'm I'm asking. Yeah. And if I'm talking to the right person, I'm suggesting. Yeah. I love <laughs> exactly. it. I love yeah, exactly. it. That's what I'm talking about. It's all right. about talking to the right person. And, that, and if I'm not talking is. to the right person, then I'm not even gonna waste my time with it. That's right. But if I'm talking to the decision maker, like, hey, yeah. do you know about Black yeah. Spirits? <laughs> like, yeah. I will yeah. really be on that shit. And, 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 we, and that's and that's what we talking about. And that's what we need. My hashtag is tell somebody to tell somebody. That's it. That's yeah. really all it takes. We've been doing that our whole life. You think? Let me tell you something, man. It wasn't no cell phones when, when um, NAACP gathered seventy five hundred people in Dearborn. It right. wasn't cell phones. Facts. I was telling somebody. Hell yeah. Meet me over it. on the block. Yeah. This nigga's tripping. <laughs> right. Pull up. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Right. You got you gathered seventy five hundred people in sixty seven. Yeah. <laughs> on a on a on a quarter call. Uh. Uh-huh. Come on, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's people. That's kids riding down the street on their bike. Hey, we going here. Yeah. I mean, we really got to get back we, to that. We though. really got to get because that's really all it takes. Let me, man. It, all it take, all it is, is a decision. Mm-hmm. We do that every day. Sure. On all, everything. It, all it is deciding to do this, mm-hmm. deciding to stick by it, Des- deciding to commit to it. Right. Because once you commit to yourself, you will never fail yourself. Right. Because you committed to you. Exactly. How you gonna no, fail sure. yourself? <laughs> you you right. commit to being the greatest person you ever going to be in your life. You're gonna be that. Mm-hmm. Commit to. You know what? I'm gonna turn my bar to everything black on. Yeah. Commit to doing it, no matter what. Nobody come. Oh man, you don't have this. No, then I don't. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And that, that do you go? Do you go anywhere? Do you go anywhere else? Do you go to Shelby Township? Like, mm-hmm. oh, why you ain't got Hennessy, dog? Right. Mm-hmm. Or you just take what they got? You take what they got. All right. <laughs> most people. Most drinkers, and I'll start with vodka. It was most vodka drinkers ask for what? They're going, hey, let me get a vodka and tonic. Mm-hmm. 90% of the time. They don't go, hey, let me get a Tito's and right. You're right. give me a vodka and tonic. Unless somebody asks, like, what kind you want it, then you might say, yeah. yeah but otherwise, right. you just most, call most them times they not asking. They right. straight out the well. Here, just mm-hmm. ask somebody here. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ain't gonna charge you for the ain't top shelf shit. Ain't gonna charge for the top. That's a whole other thing, though. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. Right, 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 right. right. So you went here now. You got all yeah. the, you got all of this stuff working, dog. And, yeah. uh, and of course, we're talking about the Black Spirits event. The next one coming up is the one in September here, or September twenty sixth okay. through September 29th. Um, was that four days? Twenty six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, four. Yeah. Days. I got to count. Got to count on the fingers. Right. Man. Like it's <laughs> been a long. It's been a long year already. I see. But this this year, so this is what we doing this year, mm-hmm. and going forward. Okay. So this is, we're not attempting, we're going to do. So last year we introduced the Taste of Black Spirits at West Lafayette, the 
uh, what is it joint called? Double Tree Hotel. Yeah. Which is a black-owned hotel. Most gotcha. people don't know that either. Did not know. Yeah, yeah. I should have yeah. known, though, since yeah, y'all yeah. was down there. I should have yeah. known. Yeah. So we had the whole second floor, which is a ballroom and, like, 10 other rooms, mm-hmm. and including the walk air uh, space. Yeah. So this year we'll have that floor, and mm-hmm. we'll have the bottom floor, which is another ballroom, mm-hmm. and I think six other rooms. Oh, right? yeah. The goal, the goal this year is 200 spirit brands. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the goal. 200? 200. Sweet I'm going to say it again. The goal this year is 200 spirit brands. Okay. First of all, why not? Yeah. Y'all sure. exist. I'm right. Not, I'm, not, I'm here, not even yeah. asking brands to like, yo, I'm not saying come set up and bring your whole thing. Be, Be present. There. Yeah. So people know who you bring are. Bring a bottle. Mm-hmm. Bring a QR code. I was just going to say, please bring the QR code. Please. Come on. Please bring the QR come code. Bring it. We, we in that age. Please we in that, bring we the QR listen, code. I tell people. Damn all the other shit. Just please bring the QR One code. One sign with a QR code on it. That's all Nobody's you need. leaving their phone. No. Nah, they yeah, scanning. Yeah. They all they doing is scanning. That's all they're they doing. They're paying for stuff on their phone. So right. just get used to that. Mm-hmm. Bring a QR code. Bring a banner. Bring mm-hmm. yourself. Bring a great conversation. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you're not. Bring your energy. Bring your energy. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're available in Michigan mm-hmm. at the time. It doesn't even matter if you don't want to sell in Michigan. Right. What matters is that you are a part of this thing. Yeah, and you want to sell somewhere. You want to so, sell, yeah. You want to and sell the, somewhere. And the people that's here be everywhere. So There you go. Yeah. That part. So people that's here be everywhere. Mm-hmm. The people that are coming are from everywhere. everywhere. So you want to, the goal is to, again, You. it's time. Yeah. It's time for us to, to realize our worth. Man. Right, realize our value, and come together. Two hundred is the goal. I done shot out. I shot out one hundred and seventy five emails already okay. to one hundred and seventy five brands. Yeah, the brands that are in our portfolio, that's a no brainer. That's a done. Yeah, they there. Yeah. Right, <laughs> the fifty seven brands. Oh, it was the seventy two. I think it's seventy two mm-hmm. brands that are available in Michigan. They getting phone calls on Monday. Yeah, like yeah, just I'm not asking. Right, <laughs> right. I'm not asking. I'll let you know. You available here? <laughs> right. Get here. Get here. Right. That's it. Right. That's I mean, the, like why wouldn't you though? I guess is the question. You have no reason not to. Yeah, why wouldn't you? You, you yeah. have no. Re- you go. You, you need to because mm-hmm. this is where your, this is where your people are. Not yeah. just because this is where your people are, but this is where your, your, your talkers are. Mm-hmm. We we see each other at two hundred deep like that. We got we got plenty to talk about. <laughs> right for sure. You know how I many people in the room. Getting a picture of every single bottle going home mm-hmm. in their neighborhood or going to work on the next day and sharing mm-hmm. that. So look, that's what happened with that uh, the Scotch was Fior. Yeah, Fior. Yeah, Bruh, I'm telling you, I had that, and I, I was I had to share with everybody. I'm, I'm telling everybody about it, and, I, and I'm not even a Scotch drinker. Yeah, like I'm not a Scotch drinker, but it's that shit fire. Yes, yes and yes, I just yes. never would have guessed a black person yeah. owning the Scotch beautiful like, bottle. I, yeah, it beautiful is. Packaging. It is right, for right. Sure. right. No shout doubt. out to him. Shout out to Eric for that. No um, who who was a, a a veteran? Yeah. Uh, salute for sure. Um, so yeah, I think so. This year, that's that's the goal. The goal is not just so. The goal is two hundred spirit brands. Mm-hmm. We have. I invited all the black owned distributors. Okay. So is shout out to Legacy Spirits. Legacy. Uh, our Legacy Spirits and um, see how Legacy keeps falling to the fold. Exactly right. Uh, uh, <laughs> out of um, Kentucky. Okay. We got a uh, Kelly distributors out of Atlanta. Mm-hmm. We got uh, one out of I can't think of it right now out of uh, L.A. Okay. Dallas, mm-hmm. uh, D.C. Damn. Yeah. So okay. we exist. So I need right. all y'all to come. Mm-hmm. Every distributor that's black gonna get here. Yeah. It doesn't matter that you don't dis- you don't distribute here. Then that's not the point. <laughs> right. The point because is most people don't be distribute in, Michigan. in town. Be right. here. Find out what these brands need. Build these relationships. Build these relationships. For right. Sure. Create create this thing that create that super strength. That's the super connection. Right. Mm-hmm. So that that part is is the biggest component for this year, and it's and it's set up like a um it's set it will be set up moving forward like a trade show style. Okay. Right. We will always be. The evening will always be what it's supposed to be. Right. It's going <laughs> to right. always be no that. Doubt. That is no like, doubt. that's the thing. That's yeah. happening. But throughout the days, some the brands, so for instance, like uh, Victor, Victor will, doing a, will be doing a presentation this year. Oh, okay. Um, Amani, I'm going to see if I can get Amani to do a present. Kevin Island John, he's doing a presentation. That yeah. presentation entails of, but basically like this, right? Mm-hmm. So during the day, we have an event called um, 
uh, uh, suppliers and buyers. Okay. So we invited all the uh, buyers out, okay. right? And the, the the account managers, all those folks, restaurants, stores, etc., yeah. to come and check out these brands that are available here in the state Man, of Michigan. That's right? crazy. That's right? such an opportunity, though. Listen, of course. Yeah. And then the 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 Great Lakes and um, RNDC and uh, Imperial, they provide me with a sheet, mm-hmm. right, where it has the price, and the account. They can put the account in there, and I'll gotcha. take that, and I can go punch it in. They can order right there on the spot. Damn. Right? So, so you can meet these people, create a relationship, and sell your product. And sell your product. <laughs> Shit. Right on the spot. <laughs> right on the right spot. Right on the spot, right? And, <laughs> and what again, what that does, it, it makes those folks uh, aware. Get a little bit more. Yeah, go ahead. That's you. That's you. I, I, mean, know, I know you uh, You sip lightly. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that on that side. I got to keep it on. Keep it over here. I'm about to look. All right, there you go. I'm about to mm-hmm. Do what I do with it then. Yeah. So, so because of that, it's like we got to think about, we got to think about collective behavior. Yeah. Coming together like that and that type of number, that's noise being made. No, for sure. Like that's, that's respect being mm-hmm. built. Yeah. That's, that's, again, that's relationship being created the way it needs to. That's us coming together and really making a statement. Mm-hmm. Right. Like I always well me and my wife says this a lot too, right? Uh, one of my favorite songs by Neo and Fabulous. It's, he says, I'm a movement by myself, yeah. but I'm a force when we together. For sure. It's a true statement. Yeah. Because me and my wife, we force one thousand yeah. percent. Right? We tap <laughs> each other in. Like yeah. she, she dunking on niggas for real. <laughs> right. I mean, I guess that's real talk. Like nah, no that's doubt. how I see it. No doubt. So when when you think about being a movement, nobody's saying you're not. But to be a force, yeah. it takes all of us. Yeah, it's like sure. it's no different than going down to the city, right? You go down to the city, you're like, yo, they won't cut their grass next door. What are we doing about it? And it's just you. Yeah. They're like, ah. Right. Anything about you? Come down there with the whole Come down there with the whole street. They offer you water. <laughs> right. Hey, hey, you need some water? Hey, order a pizza. <laughs> right. Get them, they, some food. get them some food. Calm them down right now. Because right. it's going to be a problem. You understand? Hell it's yeah. the difference. For the sure. impact is different. Right. Right. Yeah, you may get it done mm-hmm. as an as a, as a individual entity. Yeah. But as a force, it's done. Yeah. And it's going to live on. And it's going to live on. Yeah, that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? And we back to that on. word legacy again, ain't Yeah, all day. <laughs> all day. Back to that word all legacy. Day. All day. <laughs> no, for sure. So, so Taste of Black Spears this year is at the Doubletree Hotel. Uh, five two five, uh, five two five Laf- West Lafayette. Okay. Um, it's a great space. Uh, we also we're also planning to do a brunch okay. on nine twenty. So on September 29th ninth, uh, we're gonna do a brunch, mm-hmm. and we're doing this speaking uh, component called uh, Up From Here. Oh, okay. Right. All right. I'll so this is a new addition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I see it keep yeah. expanding, keep doing yeah. stuff differently. Yeah. Oh, let me let me I say this you. too now because I didn't I don't know if I told you this. So in New York, we introduced the women in supply chain okay right when i say we had some phenomenal women they had their own day own panel and they killed it yeah so we had from all all the part of all throughout the industry spirit industry in supply chain specifically right yeah. and when i say and, man, they, and they exist they exist <laughs> right. heavy they exist okay heavy we yeah. had i think we had like 10 women total right. we had three different three or four different mm-hmm. panels top flight at candy on my wife was on the panel yeah um Young lady, what them sick eyes I gave you? I'm sure. I'm sure. So this, this, she was on the panel. Y'all see that? I mean, this you is a uh, angry. I got you one in here, just so you know. This is uh the the, yeah. the pull up joint. Yeah. No, no, no. She's uh she's out of Bronx. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. So yeah. you know the pull up joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. So we had we had so a variety of of CEOs. Black on cigar, um, black, black, black on, on everything. I mean, black on everything. <laughs> talking about they really occupying the space heavy, man. Yeah. These, these are some amazing people. So we're bringing that back here to the city. Okay, you gotta give true. me her uh, info too before it's you leave. It's probably on there. Okay, yeah. gotcha. That one so, her a shout out. I know you do. No I doubt. Know. No doubt. Yeah, because <laughs> so we we have we added that component. So mm-hmm. that will always exist. So we will we will we will take a day and really introduce 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 folks to these brilliant women that are really making yeah. the difference and changes and leading the way in supply chain. Yeah. I was asked a question like why is it important for uh that women are, you know, highlighted or brought, you know, or this is brought to their our attention. I'm like it's simple. 
because mm-hmm. they monsters. Like these women really, <laughs> right. they, they going crazy. <laughs> they listen, man. Listen, man. They mm-hmm. you get a group of women that really come together, mm-hmm. they gonna kill it no, every sure. time. They I gonna agree. kill it. They gonna hold down their part of the cake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right. They gonna hit you <laughs> your ass. They're gonna kill it. And that's because it's it's in their nature though. Facts. It's in mm-hmm. their nature to take care of. Right. So they're gonna take care of business because it's natural thoughts. Yeah. I ain't saying everybody. But there are there <laughs> yeah, are know. you know yeah, what I'm saying? Know. But there everybody can't do everything. But these folks, these specific folks who are who have signed up for the things that they're doing and making changes in and they're like, oh man, they're killing it. Yeah. They're killing it, man. That's yeah. got that's got to be exciting though. Like, it's, it's super exciting. This whole thing. So I, I, before we get out of here, because I know yeah. we're wrapping it up, but like, I know you had a vision, everything. You had a vision. And it keeps elevating that kind of thing. But like, be honest though. <laughs> what? <laughs> With this vision, did you ever think, for real, that it was going <laughs> to explode this exponentially this fast though? Like, because I, I know everybody want to say like, yeah, I saw it. I, I knew what I, my vision was. But like in real life, did you really expect I, it to I'm, get I'll, legs like I'll that? I'll say this. Had you asked me that 15 years ago, mm-hmm. I, I no, I would say no. And what yeah. I mean by that is, it's the state of mind. Gotcha. When I developed the state of mind that I've been in for the last 15 years, mm-hmm. or 11, 12 years, I'm in a knowing gotcha. state of mind. Yeah. So I can honestly say, that when I did, when we did the first one, I was already in the third one. Oh shit! Okay, I got you. Understand you. what I'm saying? Yeah. I was already in the third one. I had no idea who it was going to be. Most yeah. times you don't. Most times you you you're born. You don't know who your parents are. Right. Like who are these niggas? Right. right? <laughs> exactly. You know, why are you my mom? You know what? You don't know that, right? Yeah. So I didn't. I didn't know who it was going to be. I didn't know how many existed. And how many was going to exist? I didn't right. know I was going to meet Jackie Summer. I tricked Jackie. You know, how I tricked Jackie. What? I sent Jackie Summers. I sent Jackie Summers an invite uh-huh. to Taste of Black Spirits Brooklyn. He responded, "How the fuck you gonna invite me to something in my city? Give me a call." <laughs> That's what is what is what he yeah. said. Yeah. I call him. He's like, "What you need?" <laughs> they said, I got you. What you need? Right. This is my hit city. Yeah. This is my, this, I'm Brooklyn. Right. What you need? <laughs> so you're going to send me an invite. And I told him. Like, I told him. You know who house this is. is. <laughs> <laughs> so I told him when I got to Brooklyn, I said, you know, I tricked you. Right. Because I've been reaching out to him a different way and it won't for work. a year. Yeah. He's not, oh, he'll respond to this. Right. If he anything like I think he is, he's yeah. going to respond to this. And it worked. And it worked. <laughs> and we, he's great. He's also another product that uh, we got here, Sorrel. Okay. It's also a part of our oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Great product. Excellent product. Yeah. So, you know, um, just just when I think when I sit back, I remember when the crew was like, We going to Brooklyn for real, yes. Yeah. We going to Miami for real, yes. <laughs> yeah, Miami was crazy. That was, oh, you that was yes. Yeah. We going where? Oh, we going to Texas. Yes. <laughs> now you go to Africa. <laughs> now, yeah, we're gonna yes. Yo, that's Get your wild. passports. That's wild. They're like for real, yes. Yeah. And I think after, after um, Grand Rapids, Sadat had already he knew. Yeah, he knew. We knew like, what time yeah, it was. We yeah. going. We going. Yeah. Because he was like, let's do Atlanta. I'm like, he was already on it. He's like, let's do this. He's everywhere. Yeah. I'm like nigga, hold up. Now you mentioned <laughs> Houston too, though. That's in the yeah. too. Okay. That's that's in November. Okay. Got so you. the fastest turnaround, because it's typically once a quarter. Right. So that's no- September and November. Yeah. yeah. That's the fact. But see, Ooh. we're already setting November up right now. Gotcha. Okay. Right. So it's, it's it's the work, the heavy lifting we have to do in you know, from June to September. Mm-hmm. Not to mention our film festival is right. sewn into Taste of Black Spirits, which exactly. was very successful yes last yeah. year. We got to cross cross our audiences and it yeah. was huge. That's right. Uh, so we're keeping that. Yeah, no Excuse doubt. Me. So um yeah, so it's November. So Houston is November first and second. Okay, I believe it is. Never been to Texas. Never. Nowhere in Texas. Nope. Little little known fact. <laughs> most people don't know this about me. So I did an event for um, 2010 with uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, he did. He created the Snowfall series. Oh, okay. I don't know his name. He's a director. He did. Oh, you oh, talking about uh, director? Dude, dog who died. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Well, I'm having yeah. a brain fart. Me too. That's what I'm like. Yeah. How am I having? I'm this? like, who are you talking about? Yeah. So I did his 20th. Just... Van- I did his. Uh, he. I did his 20th anniversary. Got you. At the fashion. Uh, 
fig. It's called the fig. Really? And I did the 2010 um, All Star Weekend. Got you. Okay. So that's oh, so. that was my first time. It was in and it was in Dallas. That was my first okay, time so, out there. So you got you've been in Texas. Yeah, <laughs> you've yeah. Been I drove there. too. Dog, why well, I can't re- remember this man name? Like I know, I know this man. It's right on the tip of my tongue. I'm always talking about. Yeah, him. this is my guy. Like I'm like what? My guy too. Yeah, I know it's crazy. Yeah, shout out to this uh, uh, Boogie Boys Chill in the Hood. Bourbon. He did Boys in the yes. Hood. So John Singleton, John Singleton, fuck, man. Yeah, come come on, on, man. <laughs> I knew the, something was gonna it's trigger Boogie it. Boogie Chill in the Bourbon, <laughs> dog. Jesus, this so yeah, good though. So <laughs> I was able to. Uh, so you know, I don't know if you know, we had Jay Prince here. Yeah, yeah right. Yep. So we had him here. I know. Uh, I was I was out of town again. Yeah, he was, was out of yeah, town yeah. again. <laughs> uh and he he's a phenomenal guy man yeah. like we really genuinely broke bread like yeah. we ate we sat down and ate watched okay. the fight and we had genuine conversation mm-hmm. and he had no idea that we exist like this he's like yeah. how did y'all do this yeah. this is his genuine questions and we broke right. and told it to him and he was like man listen when y'all come to houston i was Rick, just gonna say you all right come I on man what time it he's is. like because he is houston hey, I, you no doubt he is Houston. <laughs> he's like bro. red yes. carpet, man. Whatever y'all need, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, because he and he's um so and his product is also in our portfolio. Facts. Yeah. So just again, it's just did, to go back to your question. Did I ever think I knew it? Yeah. But I didn't know who they were going to be. Who? They, right. Did I, I know you. Ron Eyes was going to be in the fold? Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. Did I know <laughs> Jay, to Ron Eyes, Jay man. Prince? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Right, yeah. I didn't know who it was going to be. I just knew it was going to be. For sure. Right, those folks add not only add value, but they also, so um, they also attach themselves to us and go with us. Yeah. They don't ever want to miss a taste of black spirits. That's the right. decision they made on their own. Facts. Like, oh, we want this. Be. This is us. Yeah, it should be. You see what I'm saying? Like, this us. Yeah. And when you when you get in that collective behavior thought pattern that mm-hmm. this is us, right. Then you attach yourself to it. Then you be going with us everywhere we are. You'll be there. No, nah, for sure, right? And but this and, is this is major though. It it, it it is man. It's it is it is. So when, when y'all sponsoring the uh, what you call it, the what? Estes Fest? I know this is gonna be a thing. The at wife, some point. the wife said, the, listen, "This is gonna be listen, a thing." At some we point. got some things coming. I, it's gonna be. Listen, listen, listen. It's, we it's got to in Brooklyn. Uh-huh. We met. Brooklyn was a success. Okay, as expected. It had what most people would consider challenges mm-hmm. when i tell you i literally use all my superpower mm-hmm. to make sure that was what was ever trying to get in the way could yeah. i'm talking about <laughs> even when because we were flying right i was supposed to fly everybody out mm-hmm. eight the uh juneteenth i it's it slipped me yeah. like it's everything closed yeah Banks, right? Everything. For instance, yeah, for specifically, sure. yeah, for and then sure. for whatever reason, I'm, I'll share this. With my wife, <laughs> she's probably laughing right now. We couldn't even deposit. I'm like, what's going on? Right. Until after five o'clock, it was crazy. It was ridiculous. Oh, damn, Somebody I'd never experienced. Like, what's what's yeah. happening? But I and then renting trucks. Mm-hmm. Pay. We pay for the trucks. Right. We go pick up the truck. It ain't there. So, so now it's a now they, you know it's a bank holiday. They you know to make it not happen. Bank holiday. This is now that money don't come back to when we come back. So there's a lot of things happening. It's like yo, I right. have, then watch this. So I dropped the wife off, dropped the daughter off at so the you house. So paying twice basically. Yes, <laughs> dropped them off at the house, and we leave. And I leave. I run out of gas. Damn, I no. call my brother and I just start. <laughs> listen, I call my brother and I just start busting out laughing. Mm. He's like, "What's up? What's going on?" I say, "I run out of gas." <laughs> He, and then he says, "Well, you got that out the way, right? <laughs> right? Like, right. Yeah, that's done. Okay, cool. Right. Literally, I, I pulled when I ran out. I pulled into a parking lot and gas station across the street. Gas, okay. gas. As I was walking across the street to the gas station, I called another. Um, I called another rental place because I needed a truck because I'm taking yeah. my bars. Like, Nothing I can do with a car, right? And he was like, "Well, what did you?" I said, "I'm getting ready to pay for this. Do you have this car? Do you right. have this truck?" He was like, "No, don't do that. Just come up here." Yeah. I get up there. I'm there an hour and a half. Cause he's taking care of business. Yeah. He's like, just I got you. I just hold on. Yeah. I'm like, man, right. He better really have me. Cause I've been here. And he did. Yeah. Okay. He took. He care did. Of he did. He had me. Not only did he have us, mm. he had us at the best discounted rate. Yeah. That you could ever get for. I mean, yeah, because for was a full up. blown suburban. Yeah. Because right. Cause she you know was what I'm saying. Yeah. But I still left at the time I said I was going to leave. Okay. It still Everything happened. Came together. Everything came together. The <laughs> wife trooper, she trooper, yeah. drove seven hours. I'm like, let's go. She 
Right, right. <laughs> you got her snack pal and everything, yeah. right? So now, now I'm resting, right? Because I didn't use all my superpower to make sure we left at <laughs> right. six, right? Yeah. Now the challenge is still waiting on the other side, yeah. but they small. Yeah. Them not the phone calls. For sure. That's when I realized that we got another crew. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's dope, though. That's, that's when dope. I realized I got another crew. I mean, they really believe in your vision. They really believe in my vision. Yeah. We met a cat uh, who we get ready that had never done business with yet. Mm-hmm. He does a festival called the Seafood Festival in, of, uh, in Virginia Beach, okay. which is dope. He lives in he lives in uh, Long Island. Mm-hmm. Him and his wife came up. What you need? Yeah. It's my first time meeting. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But So when I say energy nah, is what you. fuel everything we do yeah. there's nothing in our way it ain't allowed when we have our events yeah we have secure people that mm-hmm. look just like us in the event right they're necessary for, for whatever is necessary right but because people are engulfed in the energy that it is we provide yeah. this energy yeah. that people are only when i look around the room when i gaze when i look and stare and, and people are just like and throw like man, no, it's I'm just, just it's just it's just dope. And I and I, I gotta mention too, like I think twenty was that twenty two? What was the last year it was at the uh, Garden Theater? Twenty two? Or February twenty three. Twenty three. All right. So yeah, we did the twenty three one and I invited my nephew out. And this is when I knew this was something this was something. Yeah. Cause like I brought him out and I take him places, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But like when he got here it was like it was it was a experience for him. Yeah. Because of the people that we met here, like and then I then I realized like I know quite a few motherfuckers though like yeah, I, I didn't realize so I'm in there I'm going to the circle like shout out to my man T Will he always everywhere yeah. dog and he is a good dude to know too though yeah, like he is yeah. definitely a good dude yeah. to know but like I'm meeting all these people I'm introducing my nephew to people and shit I'm just like this is more than just come on <laughs> this man. everything bro this come is on, more man. than just black spirits bro come this on, is man. like these are the people you need to know. Come on, man. These are the people you need to know. I mean, even even yeah. the component for this year, we, we're hoping to to shout match. out to my man Skrill too. He yeah, always bro, everywhere. Skrill all shout day. Out Skrill, man. Shout out to Skrill all yeah. day. I love him. Yes, he, he's. I mean, he's a great component. He's a great brother. Like, for sure, he, he is. Bottom line, um, facts. And facts, Skrill, I got to call you today too. Uh, <laughs> You know I call anytime. You, that's what it is. Right. Stop tripping. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call Sunday. Whatever. I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, when when. When I look at all the folks who are really believing in this, mm-hmm. like that's really when I when when people see me walking through the room and I'm just looking, I'm looking at faces. Like I'm almost like in slow motion when I yeah. see it, right? Because I'm always on to the next one, yeah. even though I'm in this one, but I'm on to the next one. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm looking at the response to each other. Yeah. See, we we spend a lot of time talking to each other on IG, Facebook, Instagram, text message, mm-hmm. but when you see that. It's yeah. so genuine. It's so powerful. And it's so impactful. Yeah. For me, it's like, wow, are we doing this. We mm-hmm. doing like you say. It's more than just. It's more than just spirits. It's right? more than just spirits. Like we're, or maybe it's all spirit. There you go. Right? I give you that. There you we're, go. We're creating a good spirit with spirits. Gotcha. Right. You Look know. Creating. Yeah. Always creating. <laughs> <laughs> But it's true though, you that know. Is, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I hear the messages and like I haven't posted anything from Brooklyn, I haven't yeah. had a chance. I'm just I'm too busy reposting. Right. Nah, Even up to sure. today, I'm like it's constant, and yeah. and I'm hoping and, and I'm hoping people hear this and understand. Like, be there. Yeah. Be a part of what change will look like. It's an experience. It's an experience, and you will you will meet people not just the not just the the spirit owners, but like the people that are there. Like it, it is an amazing networking opportunity as yes. well. Even if you're not into spirits, like that's the thing too. Don't think that you have to be all into spirits nope. to be to come to this event. Like you just kind of need to be there because, yeah. like, in a minute, it's gonna be one of the events that you ain't gonna be able to get into, and then you gonna wish that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I hate to be the bearer. No, but of it's, bad but news, it's but true. But it's true. <laughs> so be be there and be a part of it, right? For sure. And and for those who don't drink, well, of course we have wine and yeah. beer, but we also have non-alcoholic beverages too. Yeah. We got, shout out to OTC uh, um, Ginger Beer. I mean, it's great, great yeah. product. Shout out to Ellis IOT. We have, shout mm-hmm. out shout out to Centron. We Centron, have, for sure. We have something available for everybody. And that's it. Yeah. Darn, that's, 
I'm just saying, I, I have to harp on this a lot, dog. It's just so dope the people I be meeting because I meet these people here, mm-hmm. and then I, I see them somewhere else. Yeah, and like it's crazy. It's yeah. like a family yeah. reunion. <laughs> yeah. But then it's also like like how you say people look at you like, dog. How he know, dog? Because I, I be there. <laughs> I participate. I be there. Yeah. And, and again, shout out to my man Skrill. Shout out to Ty Mopkins, dog. Yep. And I'm telling you, yep. after I seen them at the Black Spirits joint. I swear Rose Line just like Yeah 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 I swear <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, maybe I'm just giving you know giving credit where it don't supposed to be but no shout out to them I mean, I'm that, just saying like all I'm, of a sudden that shit just start firing off like I remember uh, when we we they first uh some shout out to uh Jonathan and all those cats over at uh Motu Vijet. For sure they for first sure. they first joined us in um and we hope to get back to Grand Rapids, honestly. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Grand Rapids, so because that's that's their town. Like they the okay. they the they the uh, mayors and governors out there. That's yeah, them, for right? sure. Gotcha. Um, and and I remember when I met them. That's how I met Daryl too. Mm-hmm. Is that those guys? They they got something with what they got. They're also in in several hundred miles. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? But they, sure. Grand, Grand Rapids take care of Grand Rapids. Those yeah. folks. When you again, it's it's community. Um, no doubt. Like I say, uh, shout out to Skrill. Skrill joined them, came became a part of them, and you know he's he's a he's a um, community activist, etc., etc., etc. For sure, he's layered up, right? Yeah, I, I ran him at a at a community event. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Damn, I yeah, forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so these are these are the quality of folks who are in our space, mm-hmm. right? Uh, to to retract to go back. I mean, to Brooklyn. This past Brooklyn, we met some very quality. Mm-hmm. Folks who are like, I want to help y'all bring that up to speed. Yeah, for sure. Like, I mean, people with people, people, yeah, right? people, people, the money, uh, people. <laughs> and include, including our film festival. Like I said, we we bridging this together. Our film festival this year. We want everybody that that participate in film, whether mm-hmm. their film is in our festival or not. Right. We need you in the room because we're looking to pair, mm-hmm. looking to pair people with product. Yeah, right. For like sure. like genuinely do that. Mm-hmm. Like you know, I don't want people paired with something that they don't drink or don't like, or just for a check of, or, or right. you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But we want because this is stage. We're in that stage, mm-hmm. so we secure a store, right? We secure a neighborhood. We secure got community. We got money coming. We got all these things coming. But we need people, right, to help move the product. Yeah. The consumer is the most important. Should do sound like the wire now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should do something, I got you. I got but you. the community is the most important component. Facts. Because if the community say no to it, the store ain't picking it up. That's true. That's and true. if the store ain't picking it up, the distributor ain't going to carry it. Right. So if the community asks for it, the retail got to go, hey, y'all, where heard about that? this product? Where this at? Exactly. I had 20 people ask me about it mm-hmm. last week. I right. need that. Exactly. Right? They're going to act. They're going to act on that because mm-hmm. I'm already pitching from the other side right i'm already than the brands that i can that i believe that are should be in state or asked to be in because everybody don't want to be in michigan that's okay yeah but I those who want to be here i don't already hit them on the on the other side like give me a deck give me this give me this give me this right. i don't send bottles i come see you yeah gotcha. ain't all that send me a bottle and sit on the shelf for three months now right we don't do that <laughs> right we that's the old way of doing things that's the old way of doing business yeah, but yeah, for sure. we've we're fortunate enough to be even in the position now if i recommend something they on the distributor it's yeah. on it immediately because mm-hmm. they recognize like well, he's not going to send us anything. Right. To be stamped by Lazar is a major stamp. <laughs> shit, I'm just saying. This is, I ain't, am I lying? No. Right, exactly. No. This shit's no. a major stamp. No. No. Shit. Because I've you, done that all that. I've done all the other stuff. So yeah. I, I, that's that's how we go end it, though. We go, we go end it with that. I feel like the Lazar favor stamp is a major stamp. Oh, thank you. How do that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this. Mm-hmm. I am driven by by just ground roots, right? Uh, my mother, uh, God rest her soul, my mother was, she made things happen unconsciously. Yeah. To give you a real short story, very short, is that I remember, you ever seen white curbs? Mm-hmm. People out there painting the curb, For sure. right? I believe that my mother started that trend. Right. My mother was in the house home house of home and gardens almost ten years straight. Yeah. She didn't paint the curve, we did. <laughs> gotcha. Just so yeah, clear. I understand. Her but, vision of But it. in order to paint the curve, this is what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. First of all, you gotta wait for the traffic to slow down. Right. That's the first thing. <laughs> right. right. You get killed out there. You gotta sweep the mm-hmm. curb. 
pick up the trash, mm -hmm. wash the curb, wait till it dry, mm -hmm. and then paint the curb. Right. So it's a process. In order for it to get where it's supposed to be, these are the things you got to do. Right. Clean it first. Mm hmm. Dry it again and paint it and then paint it a couple of times. Right. This one I got introduced to Alcat paint, which is a paint that don't come off your hands. Right? Oh shit. You okay. got a new paint then like I am I'm, I'm a yeah, kid. Yeah. I don't know this. I'm just, right. So you gotta paint I'm all paint your hands. Raggedy. I'm just painting <laughs> with a brush. Right. At the end of the day, once you're done with the curb, and then mm. you don't want paint on the grass. So it's right. a lot of, you got need scissors to clip whatever you right? Mm -hmm. Weeds and all that stuff. So when you step back and when I look at the finished product, you start wakening folks who never even thought about it right for instance when i painted our curb mm -hmm. we lived on chelsea okay on the east side off of dickerson got you across the street is an older lady she's like hey can you do that over here yeah. i understand i can't skip any process right right so you gotta do it the same way same thing yeah. next door neighbor first lady offered us 20 dollars. we didn't get any of that 20 dollars. my mother was like that's my idea <laughs> right that's right? so, my money. It's my money. Here go go get some popsicles, right? <laughs> right. That's it. We ain't right. we ain't thinking about it. Yeah. But we freezing. but after the second one, mm -hmm. I start being more careful with how I did it. Yeah. Taking pride in it. Yeah. Because it means more of, now. It, because it means more now. Yeah. Not even a month later, when you summertime, when you look down the street. Mm -hmm. 99% of the curves painted white. Yeah. Just off of that. That's without her even speaking it to anybody. Right. People just seeing it. You understand it, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, on that note, you, you show them something. Mm -hmm. Make them proud of it. Make them excited about it. Yeah. And the response will be, let me join that. Damn, that's like marketing one-on-one. -on -one. Damn. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that boy good. And that, ladies and gentlemen... Is why the Lazar favor stamp <laughs> means you, so man. motherfucking much. Thank you, man. Thank you. Th and this show means means more. You don't even realize because I hadn't said it to you. Mm -hmm. This is the first podcast I had ever been on. Yeah, yeah. I know when you told me that spirit. before. I was like, like no, that's, I that it. makes it a big deal for yeah, me, and that's why sure. I'm back with all the new things yeah. that nobody even got yet. No, for sure. Right? So it just that I'm just want to thank you for being that vessel for us. For sure. For you know, for me and Sadat to move the way we move and just be in there when you are not out of town. You know what I mean? <laughs> and supporting right. us and giving us and giving us the and also giving up giving us a uh, a platform to, you know, speak on. So No doubt, no doubt. And and I, I just I appreciate the love though, for yeah, sure. Yeah, because yeah. at the end of the day, like for real, this is a this is a major undertaking. And in in all honesty, you could be you could be an asshole. <laughs> you could though. Like I, I mean, am I lying? Like no, you right, you in right. a position where you could yeah. be an asshole and you not. So yeah. I appreciate that, like always, and of yeah. course the show. You know, the yeah, show yeah. is the show. I, I want to say one last. Can I say one last thing? For sure. So I wasn't gonna get this to you, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna give it to you. Oh shit! I got so put I'm that gonna in show, box. I'm gonna show everybody right now. See, I'm, I'm gonna give him this, but I don't want him to open it. I'm not. Though. I'm not. I don't want him to open. It. I'm putting that shit in my All box. Right? Shout out to Angry yeah. Principal created me a whole box. For, oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, for sure. Because this, this is how deserving he is of it. I mean, because he Damn, really, I appreciate that. He really, uh, you know, he really a hundred proof. So, man, no doubt. I appreciate it. Oh, shit, I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, that's going up. <laughs> now, once once we get our uh, first million subscribers, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. drinking that motherfucker. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna pop that shit in. <laughs> oh, I appreciate this shit though. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited about that. All right, we gotta get back to yeah. what I was saying. Okay, my bad. I got, yeah. I got sidetracked. <laughs> I got a gift and shit. I'm all excited up. Uh, again, tell the people uh, where. No, wait. Before you do that, because I was gonna tell you, tell the people where they can find like the tickets and everything. But before you do that, um, anyone who is aspiring to be in the spirits game, like, what would be your advice to them at this point? Research. Yeah. Understand that this is. It looks sexy on mm -hmm. the outside, as all shows do. Right? right. You know, one of the greatest shows I ever seen was was Ryan Isley's show. Um, in Vegas, man. So that went to Vegas. Oh yeah, I saw and, some footage. And when I say, listen, man, listen, that man, yeah, he go from the Isley Brothers, uh -huh. to Ron Isley, right, Mr. Big, to Mr. Biggs. <laughs> yeah, it is sure. a transition. Yeah, and it is phenomenal. I'm like, <laughs> what in the world? Come out when Mr. Biggs come out, right. It's smoke. It's it's cigars. The meat come out. Right. The chair come out of nowhere. I don't even know where the chair came out. Where this come from? <laughs> it come it out came. Of nowhere. Somebody walked. The, it's crazy. 
Oh my goodness. Shout out to Ryan, man. Listen, man, listen. So I think just just be patient. Mm-hmm. If you're not willing to put everything into it, just just stay working whatever you're doing. Gotcha. Because it's, it's it looks fancy. It looks nice. I mean, you think? I mean, we we. Oh, I gotta share this with you too. Mm-hmm. We probably gonna have uh, what's my man name? What's that boy name? Play basketball. What's his name? Big boy. Redmond Vodka. What's his name? Charles Barkley. Oh, Charles Barkley. So Got yeah. a vodka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't know that. Okay. Two years. Two years. Hmm. So we we planning for him. We what's the name of? Redmond. Redmond. Okay. We planning for him to to come out and hang out with us. Um, and he had and I, I used him as an example because. Mm-hmm. He he mentioned one day he was in an interview. With, I want to say with um, Shay. Okay. And they were talking about he was talking about probably like man, this liquor business is these dudes is treacherous. Yeah. Cause they are. They are. <laughs> if you're not if you're not equipped if you're not ready for this, don't do this. Yeah. If you just want to do it, like look at me, I got liquor. This ain't the business. This ain't it. This ain't it. You know. Yeah. And always always think about what your bottles need to look like, which is is really presentation. If she, if you put her or him on the shelf, and you, and him or her don't stand out, I use that as an example because when mm-hmm. you think about your wife, or your girlfriend, or a person you got interest in, you see mm-hmm. them first. Yeah. So if they don't look good to you, then you ain't gonna even respond no other. You ain't gonna even go no further than that. True. But if they look good to you, yeah, you gonna have a conversation. Yeah. You gonna inquire. Now they may open up their mouth and be like, Google, like, like ah, I'm good. <laughs> right, on I'm that. straight. I'm straight. Straight on that, <laughs> right? But so presentation. Understand what the business is because there's a lot of legal stuff, a yeah. ton of legal stuff. I bet. There are only, there are only, um, what is it? So there are seven states who are that are like Michigan, which is control states. Right? Okay, this is called a three tier, like meaning I can't uh, distributor. So it's distributor to retail, retail mm-hmm. to customers. Gotcha. You can't go distributor to customer. You can't go retail. I mean. Distributor to customer, customer to distributor. It just doesn't happen like that. Gotcha. That's just how it's set up. At some point, that may change based on laws. Because okay. um, we know other that, states can though. Yeah, uh, forty-two oh, okay. states can. Damn. DC you can sell. You can sell Trump on some CD type <laughs> shit. It's straight yeah, up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Big yeah. state. New York. Like New it. York. You can sell. I think you can sell direct too. Yeah. You know that, okay. that, and that's the reason we do New York. We give. We do New York to give people an opportunity to sell directly. I was gonna say so. Yeah. So yeah. at the New York ones, you can sell. That yeah. Okay. Yeah. They get. Gotcha. They get a. And if even if you're not from New York, you're able to get a temporary license. Yeah. You know, okay. you get a one day license. And do your thing. Okay. Oh, that's dope. Right. So that's dope. That's one thing to yeah. think about. Yeah, no, but sure. I think this is not the. It's, you don't want to be here if you can't be here. Yeah. Understand your budget is going to be crazy. Yeah. Biggest budget on any in any business. Mm-hmm. The line item that's the largest is your ad and marketing. Marketing for sure. Yeah. Because you think of, you think about this. If I don't have the money for you to see me, how how you gonna buy me? Right. <laughs> can't see me. Right. No, that's but for sure. Think about you. Are you just think about McDonald's? Right. McDonald's ain't skipped a day. Ain't skipped a day. Commercial, they serving a billion people. Co- commercial every day. They don't care who go vegan. They don't care about none of that. <laughs> they don't care about you being vegan. Right. And we ain't gonna sell nothing vegan. Right. Because people gonna eat this. McDonald's keeping it real. Eh? McDonald's keeping it a hundred. We don't care what nobody like doing. We and we vegan. gonna still bring them damn Mc, Mc, what's the McRib McRib's back. Oh God. We don't care. That's just so terrible. Put a pickle on it. You right. gonna still get. You gonna eat it. Somebody eating this. Somebody excited right now thinking they, about they it. They are. Right? They in the comments right now talking to me. Reeves coming back. <laughs> Shout out to McDonald's. Shout out to <laughs> but it is. That it really is, though. So if you don't have that kind of longevity, if you're not thinking that long term, yeah. if you're not preparing yourself for that long term, yeah. or meaning really getting your money up. You know, there's a company, and I, I have to say this, there's a, and, I'll, and I'll, I won't end it with this, but I'll say this. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of brands like, yo, I want to be like, you know, Nears Green brand. I want to be like that. And I want to, mm-hmm. I want to be able to do this and do that. That's cool. Yeah. But don't forget, they started with money right they they did their due diligence did the thing that they needed to do to raise enough funds right to get into every place they need to be mm-hmm. to have conversation with who they need to have conversation with right. to set up relationships to with who they needed to set up relationships with i ain't talking about a million dollars right i ain't nah. talking about a half a million dollars right i ain't talking about a hundred million dollars right i'm talking about 250 <laughs> right <laughs> Quarter billion. Quarter billion. 
Hell yeah. See, and we got to say it. Just like you said quarter it. Quarter billion. Say a quarter billion make more sense. Hell yeah, dude. It sound more like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's different. Quarter billion. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's totally different than 250 million. Quarter billion. Right. Hell yeah. It's what they kicked off. Perspective. You got to look at it how, yeah. You got to look yeah. at it like that. So if you're not willing to raise that. Yeah. Or you don't have access to raise that. Then stay out that conversation. Stay out that conversation. <laughs> don't even bring that up to yourself. Don't even Facts. do yourself like that. No, nah, for sure. If you're working with 100000 work with your 100000 Yeah. If you work with 200000 work with that. Yeah. If you ain't working with 10 or better, yeah. Keep your day job. Keep, it, keep your day job. <laughs> because this, this business is treacherous. Yeah. Like, you, you, you're you competing with. Yeah. You're not only competing with people who got trillions of dollars to work with. Mm. You're competing with, if you're I'll just say, I'll just use vodka for, for instance. Mm -hmm. It's over 15,000 vodkas in the market. Right. Who are you? <laughs> right. Why nah, do I need real. to see you? You're right. You know, I got these other vodkas who's spinning, spinning change. You know, mm -hmm. the T-I-T-O vodka. Mm -hmm. The T-I-T-O. <laughs> shipped a half a million cases. Damn. To Michigan. For real? Half a million cases. That's a lot. It's a whole, a that's, half that's a million whole lot. cases. That's a whole lot. You see, I didn't say 500,000. Right. A half, half a million, million cases. Right. For sure. Cases. Right. Six and 12 bottles in each case. Yeah. Right. You understand? Right. So what you doing? What, what your, you doing? With your 8,000. With your 8,000. <laughs> you know what I mean? With the, with the bold and label. So, so, again, so you, we've always had to work harder mm -hmm. to be seen in the light we want to be seen in. For sure. We always have to, what well, we have to remind ourselves, position it first. Mm -hmm. There is no time stamp on you having, well, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a movie, right? If nobody's asking me for this movie I'm about to shoot, nobody's saying, hey, you got till uh, September 1st to produce that, to bring me that movie. Right. Because if they're asking for that, that means they gave me some money. Right. right? Otherwise, I don't know. Otherwise, ask it. ain't nobody asking. <laughs> right. right. So if you're not asking for that, if there's nothing involved, there's no transaction involved, mm -hmm. let me be patient with it. Yeah. Let me make sure I got it right. For so sure. when I do present it, I'm going. Yeah. As opposed to like, uh, man, I'm going to pay this real quick. I'll, get, I'll re up my product next month. Right. What? <laughs> right. That ain't how that's work. <laughs> that ain't how that work. But. And and it's unfortunate that some of us are have great product. I'm talking excellent product, yeah. but can't re up, yeah. or even can't even get the license uh, renewed, mm. which is scary. Yeah, because that's, that's a whole nother process. Right. Damn. Right. And then if you get the if you get um what's it called uh delisted, mm -hmm. oh man, you in trouble. Yeah. So hey, you can't even that's, get it. That's, that's two year wait. Shit, that's like in black ball for real. That's exactly that's what exactly it is. What oh, it you is, don't want to do no business with your ass up out of here. That's what that is. <laughs> right. So we have to but so we, we have to that's why I say be diligent about understanding mm -hmm. what it is you trying to get into. Right. That's the main thing. Yeah, know what you get into because it's knowing what you get into it's because a <laughs> it is, you know. Shout out to shout out to Kevin and, and Amani, man. Them boys came from a what I always say is, I always say this to them. Y'all had y'all had cushy jobs, huh? Cushy jobs. <laughs> y'all making y'all making four hundred thousand a year, huh? Yeah. And then they went and started the liquor business. Yeah. And the same money, ain't right. the same return. Yeah, like, oh, no, this man. is different. Yeah, yeah. But they, but they still. But it's have, yours. But it's yours. Yeah. And they have a drive. I and mentioned you, them too. You get to leave that uh legacy. <laughs> yeah, get to leave that legacy. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> say it on your shirt. <laughs> That's right. Every day, right? Every day. <laughs> All right, so look, tell the people how they can get tickets and stuff for the upcoming event and um, just how they can learn more about yeah. some of the Black Spirits that's in y'all catalog. Yeah, so um, Taste of Black Spirits Detroit National Conference happens September 26th. We kick off with the women uh, in supply chain with Ursula Dunn, Marshall Favors, and several other guests. Uh, 27th is our... Um, Oh, we also have a blues concert happening on the twenty seventh. I just thought about that oh, too. Damn. Yeah, okay. it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. That's happening happening in the evening on the twenty seventh, but on the twenty seventh, same itself, venue. 
Same venue. Okay. So everything, the beauty of it this year, everything happens in the hotel. Gotcha. Okay. You ain't got to leave the hotel. Okay. If you from out of town, you ain't got to leave the hotel. Okay. So everything, we're going to make sure you so got everything. I got to get a room that week. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And, and gotcha. The, so the double tree is all suites. So yeah. everything is lovely. Oh, shit. Okay. You I mean, four, I mean five, six people in the suite. Okay. Had a whole different room come around the corner, living room, pull out the bed. <laughs> Right. Roll it up, you know. Yeah. Y'all got it. Listen, I'm I saying it. I'm saying it because listen. Hey, get with somebody. Hey, tell yeah. them. Hey, well, let's go get pull this. Up. Pull, whole game. Pull up. Yeah. Whole game. Five brands in one room. Let's do it. <laughs> right. For sure. nah, yeah. So September 26th through the 29th, um, we have uh, liquid. Of course, liquid panel happens on the 27th. Yeah. Our uh, for brands only. It's the early part of the day. Then we have presentations. Okay. Uh, it's it's a great time. We have some speakers, some speaker series that we have mm-hmm. with some some uh, brand and all this stuff. All the information will be on Eventbrite and right. ev- and Event Noir. Gotcha. So Event Noir is a black owned uh, ticketing company. Okay. Um, that, that's been and I think they're from Grand Rapids. Gotcha. Uh, most Damn, recently, Grand about, three, about, about three years. <laughs> I think about three years, if I'm not mistaken. Grand Rapids okay. in Chicago also. Yeah. Uh, so tickets will, tickets are available actually tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. Yeah, September, September, what is it tomorrow? Not uh, September. July, tomorrow? July, July 8th. The 8th yeah. July 8th. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so tickets are available July 8th okay. um, and you are able to get those tickets for you get tickets for every day which is one package. That's what I was going to say. And, yeah. Or you can get tickets for each individual day. Gotcha. Right. Uh, okay. The Spirit Exhibition Tasting Sampling happens on the 28th mm-hmm. from Six to eleven. Okay. Uh, and all the other components of the uh, liquid women in supply chain, all those things happen on the twenty sixth and twenty seventh. Gotcha. On okay. the twenty ninth, there is a brunch that happens from one to four. Okay. Uh, it's called Up From Here. And twenty ninth is on a Sunday. Sunday. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And, and within all of that is the Detroit Black Film Festival, who have, just happens to start on the twenty sixth. Also. Also at the hotel. Yeah. Well, goddamn. No, no. So it's at the hotel Charles H. Wright. Gotcha. Okay. Charles H. Wright, which is which just spent a good chunk of probably upwards on six million dollars to redo mm-hmm. the whole theater. It's amazing. Yeah. We get to show the first films in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, so Charles H. Wright. Um, and obviously, you already got all your submissions for that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They, they closed. We actually. I gotta say, that's, yeah. That's we are probably gonna announce it in the next ten days. Yeah, announce gotcha. in ten days. Okay. Uh, we had over three hundred films. Yeah. came in we gonna narrow it down my wife like to go she heavy handed yeah. yeah let's do 60 films let's not let's right let's not do that honey <laughs> no thank you now I look up like let's not say we did honey we doing 60 then. we doing 60 I'm like oh, honey what are we doing Come right on. That's a, lot, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of, of work. Yeah. But I mean, but we again. She, she shout out to her because she's she. We literally started our first film festival. Well, she started it. Her mm-hmm. and a couple of friends. Seventeen years ago. Damn. Okay. Yeah, she's a big deal. Yeah. So our Trinity International Film Festival happens mm-hmm. in two weeks. It's 18th i believe it is through the 21st okay. it's online so we shifted that online when we started the detroit black film festival which is in its fifth year right right gotcha. um but trinity is is again it's it's international we yeah. had all kind of film uh i think we're showing 32 films okay but we're it's online and we're gotcha. showing some of our detroit films detroit f- people i don't like detroit filmmakers filmmakers from, from detroit, detroit. Gotcha. yeah on that, uh, I think that's Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Uh, 20th and 21st. Yeah. So then, but moving forward into September, that's mm-hmm. going to be an incredible weekend because we get, we got people come from all over the country. Damn, that's going to be crazy. Yeah. And so. That's going to be a crazy it's, weekend. It's, and that's intended, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our, our, our work, at, what we're working on is getting other people involved. The city, of course. And we, yeah. we do great with the city. With uh, Shout out to Rochelle Riley. In the city of Detroit, I got meetings this week with city of Detroit. Oh, Rochelle Riley from the used to be in the newspaper. Yeah. Oh, okay. All yeah. Right. So she has it's called Aces. Like I'm cool. Yeah. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this but, is a whole off the, uh, off the subject. <laughs> but like, yeah, I used to, I used to really hate some of the some of the uh, the articles she used to write. Okay. I used to really hate some okay. of that shit. Okay. But I, I've I've grown since yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. But, but you're I, an artist, though. Yeah, yeah I, you're, I, I'm, an artist. I'm you're looking artist. at it from an artist direction. And some of the shit she's writing, she's like, dog, what? what? <laughs> but then I, I I respect the crap. So yeah, shout out to Rochelle. Yeah, yeah. And I I got her book from somewhere at, at a podcast conference Most for likely. whatever reason. Yeah. Book yeah. was in the swag bag. I was like, all right. Oh, dope, dope. And I read. It, I was like, okay, I fuck with her. Again. All right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so al- also we tying that weekend. So that is again. That's why it's important that we make sure we get two hundred brands right. No, I met. Sure. A, I met a, another distiller out of. Uh, I'm thinking out of North Carolina. It's called Harlem. 
mm. Harlem beer distributors. So he okay. distributes beer, uh, Uncle Wathy's, um, uh ginger beer, and several other brands. So I, I literally just talked to him earlier yesterday. So just making sure that we are coming, bringing everything we got. Okay. Are you, it's it's like the uh, you might not you might not be old enough for this concert, but it's like the Fresh Fest. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. I'm, I'm not I'm not old enough for it's it. Okay. But but being but you understand it though. But the episode yeah, you saw it right. <laughs> Show me what that shout out to Big Meech getting out 2025. <laughs> no, for sure, I saw yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out. So, uh, hey, come holler at us in September. <laughs> right. I'm just telling you right, right. now. Might want to be there. You might want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> right. But you no, really yeah. want to celebrate? Be there. Yeah. Um, so you say that's it's the equivalent of that. Yeah, it's the equivalent. Yeah. yeah. So, sure. so yeah, we um, but yeah, that that that's happening. We want we want that to be really huge. We yeah. got we like I said we got meetings with the city. That mm-hmm. we have some great partners that we uh, we haven't worked with yet, but uh-huh. we know very very well mm-hmm. from the city who who really like extending that thing. Like, hey, yeah. we want to we want to be a part. Of, we want to bring our community in that direction. Yeah. Right? Do y'all do y'all guys have any uh, connection with the uh, Michigan Black Business? Uh... I'm a member. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to the M A. Yeah, I, I just I literally just got hip to them. Like mm-hmm. I didn't even know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I just got hip. They've been around. Maybe five years. Yeah, because I think five, four I think he was years. saying before it was just Detroit black business, yeah. and then they moved yeah. to you know the whole state. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I respect what they're what they're doing and attempting to do. They they are able to get and shout out to the charity and Kai. They're able to get into rooms authentically. Mm. Yeah, uh, and move around and and really make adjustments for what the uh, agenda is. Right, yeah, for sure. I think as a community, and not even as members, and as a community, we just probably need to be more. Uh, uh, intentional about uh, assisting, in yeah. That. Because sometimes you you get you get caught up in a um, what I like a uh, like a crew type thing, and you forget that we not a crew, we a member. Shit. Yeah, clicked you know what up. I mean? clicked clicks, up. Yeah. It clicked up like yeah. you know because I've been that happens sometimes. Listen, because I've been around a minute. Yeah. You understand? Like right. I'm keeping it a hundred. Like y'all know us, right? Exactly. Y'all know yeah. us. You know we we've done we've done. I mean, shout out to Hill Harper. We've done his events at his house. Yeah. You know that's a big deal. Running for Senate now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, it, it, you know, you know, and I, I ain't no I ain't no politician. So I don't speak politician work. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I keep it a hundred with him. Yeah. Like yo, you need to holler at these boys though right you need to holler at some people you need to holler at some people you need to <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say this on like you need to holler at New Era Detroit them got, they got people bro you can't be running for the senate from the city of Detroit and not holler at dog no you got to holler at Zeke and them they you got can't. people <laughs> They got people. They got people. That and it ain't understand. just here. They understand your language. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. And it ain't just here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I mean that. What I say. I got my man Ryan. You know, shout out to Ryan. He's on that. Like, yeah. yo, yo, I put that together because we need that. Yeah. Now, I, I trust what he said. I believe in him. I, I like him. I, as a person, I like him. Right. If you're going to do what you say you're going to do, you need to go holler at these people, though. Yeah. No, for sure. Because these are the people that's going to take you there. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's and that's that's us. And that's how you build trust with the community. That's how you build trust with the community. For community. Sure. You can't go out there with a a, a button up shirt on. Put <laughs> a sweatshirt on. <laughs> right. That says something about Detroit. Yeah, for sure. Put a Detroit hat on or scully uh uh-huh. and get to work all right get to work get real done. work real work get out <laughs> yeah. them shoes put some a1s <laughs> on sir right i'm just keeping it 100 like this is you have to be to speak to yeah, us to speak to us yeah because if the, if it's us you're looking to speak to you better come look you better yeah. this is what you better do yeah this is what it is and you can't be here and not speak to us so it's, come on man you gotta do what you gotta do come on we gonna roll up on you we gonna, what's up man you what's going on know. man yeah, that's how we do. You know we will. Come on, because ain't nobody a bigger celebrity than us. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. nobody. Okay. Here. Here, where you from? <laughs> no matter. <laughs> Yo, on that note, man, we gonna wrap it up because I swear we could we could be yeah, here all night. Yeah, dog. Thanks, I appreciate it. So again, uh, the info to get taste your the black spirit. Yeah. September. <laughs> September 26th through the 29th, you can get tickets on Eventbrite starting tomorrow or oh Event my. Noir uh, starting tomorrow. Just type in Taste of Black Spirits. It should pop up immediately. For sure. And if you if you don't see it, type in Taste of Black Spirits on Facebook. It'll pop up and take you through it. No doubt. Um, and look for the Detroit Black Film Festival happening the same weekend. It is all uh, integrated weekend. We also may be adding the cigar component. Okay. Cigar Week component to I'll that. Be, I'll be in I'll that let you, you'll, you'll be knowing about let that. Me know. 
Uh, surely, and you know, we'll if, in order to do that, we have to bring our girl back for sure. And yeah. I, I love her setup. Though. Oh, her setup sure. is dope. Yeah, That's fire. Yeah, for we sure. wanted her for New York. We just again, you know, I end up losing our uh, sponsor for yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but we're gonna try to have her next yeah. year in Brooklyn for sure. But I want to introduce her if we can get that done, which I think we could this mm -hmm. year. Uh, I'm just going to have the people at the parking lot next door to the yep. hotel like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need this. Yeah, bet. And no, that'll work. Say, that right? works for me. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> I'm with that. <laughs> All right, Orlando, man, again, I want to thank you for coming out. Shout out to the whole gang, dog, the whole gang that put everything together for you guys. Uh, we, of course, we'll be there in September. Uh, it'll be cool if we get to Africa in 2025. I'm, I'm trying to make that happen. I got a passport, so yeah, I don't want to do nothing. I just want to come because like, right. I ain't never been to Africa, That's so right. I just want to right. come and be in Africa. Uh, mm -hmm. Shout out to my guys, man. Shout out to Angry Principal. Shout out to Bo, uh, who couldn't make it today. But, of course, I'm holding it down for the team. And uh, this is Everybody Loves BBW, man. That's Beards, Bourbon, Whiskey, the podcast. Uh, that's it. That's we it. out here. We out shout here. out to uh, John Lee Hooker, <laughs> Legacy <laughs> Spirits. That's right. All right, Glenn. Shout I'll out at you soon. Shout out to Legacy. Yeah. The word Legacy. We're going to leave y'all with that today, dog. I like it. We up out here, man. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>